much you know she tells she <sighs> snappy too BOI It's an allergy medication to avoid further issues. Hopefully that'll help out. Let's see what happens. Some nasal spray. Alright. I think. Ah, we can get the. Talk to the Saurian. Achievement today. That's nice. Also, we do have. A heat of birthday. That's correct. Let's see. Yep. Hmm. Oh, and wow, they gave a cold creeper this time. That, that's interesting. I remember we gave... Had Zinian give the seeds, and I found that interesting, because honest to goodness, very easy for those to be totally useless, <laughs> in the sense that if you've already fully leveled every single character who uses them, can't be used for anything at all. Unless, I guess, they add uncaps one day. Makes you wonder. It is what it is. There are a lot of people saying that there's a possibility that they might raise the character level cap to 100. And that one came out. And we did get a higher world level. And we did not get a higher character level. One thing people were mentioning was that one of the reasons it sounded kind of crazy was that... In theory, you have new we have character passives for the first ascension, and for the fourth ascension, so a difference of three. And if they uncapped it to 100, that'd be a ascension seven. So the idea would be maybe that could mean new passives for every character, which could breathe a lot of life into old characters who have just gotten worse, or frankly were never good, but that also meant they'd have to figure those out for every character, and that would be legitimately a pretty big amount of work, but... Mm -hmm. Okay... Come on... You survived! Interesting. Okay. Well, alright. <clears throat> See how well we can keep you in one place. Fire on both of you. And you. And shoot. And we could not hit multiple. That surprise. Not in a good way. And there we are. Cool. Oh. Shooting back and forth. Pretty nice. Multiple DPSs. Look at this. I think, yeah, I will defeat, try to do those TCT challenges and then do Nikita event. That's a decent way to decide this. Okay. Hit and, oh, you totally avoided that. That's not good. Okay, well, that was okay. Come on. Alright, and... Get this done, and now we can send the cage. Should be fine. And wow, took them both out. Nice. Yep. Just gotta do an obstacle course. <coughs> Calm achievement. And this is, of course, where I accidentally did that one challenge because I mistook the little pylon for the time trial challenge for a commission. Send out Milani. Sprint swim. Cool. Refresh that. Miraculous right there, not really my problem right now. I like how she just gets the bite back from that. Uh, the aerial attack is still the bite. Okay. 
Hello, how are you doing? Right. Oh, the volcano's erupting right now. That's fun. So we can watch that. Interesting how it's got those weird streaks dancing around. Well, what I did was shamelessly steal the team comps of someone else who did. So I put those decks down and I'll figure out how to pilot them. And we'll take it from there. A win's a win. Okay, let's help the dinosaur. Okay. Pick up the mushrooms. What does make me sad is that, from what I saw, the best way to handle the challenges was not to create tailor-made teams that engage with the gimmicks, but that just to make sense. teams that were independently strong and basically brute force the challenges, which made me kind of sad. And this time, we should get the little dinosaur to show up. Let's see. Just look over there, he's a wind crest. Exactly, timid little Yumkasaur. Woo, woo. Come here, kiddo, we're not gonna hurt ya. Woo, marar. Taking a while. Well, it... Honest to goodness... The best ones, because there are three variants of the TCG challenge missions. One is, it's you have to beat the fight in a certain number of turns, you can set the difficulty, etc. The other one is a wave challenge. The wave challenges are fun. And then there are the ones where it's beating them at all gets you the score. And I like the ones where it's just about beating them. Because generally the difficulty level isn't all isn't ridiculous, but it's not easy. It's sort of medium difficulty compared to setting the ones where you set the difficulty to easiest or hardest. I did hear that they were making physical versions. It's an interesting idea. It... A lot of people mentioned the fact that they do a lot of changes and patches, and they'd accumulate a lot of errata very, very quickly. Which would make things difficult. And additionally, it... <sighs> For various reasons, it just doesn't seem like a game that would be... Fun to play physically compared to... Digitally, especially because there are a lot of cards that... Rely on randomness or cards that have other cards built into them. I don't know. It'd be hard to figure out how to make a card like Mamere, or any of the Melusine ones that just generate random cards. I guess they'd probably just not put those out, but it still means that it's going to be incomplete in comparison. But, the wave challenges are pretty fun, but I like the ones where it's just a set challenge. Especially since generally those do tend to be more about the gimmick itself instead of brute forcing. Well, they would have to change it to make it either it's a random card from your deck or you have to own a copy of literally every support card period to randomize it correctly. They couldn't make it work without severely changing it. But the entire point is that they're putting out cards that are identical. It... It's, it's different from... When it's in a show, that's inherently different because they can break the rules and dramatize them for the sake of drama. But there's an existing game with consistent rules that already exist, and they're trying to make a physical approximation of it in a way that is inherently and necessarily incomplete because the number of cards that do exist rely on it being a digital game to work at all. And it won't be all that different, all that different besides a couple of cards that they'd either, either have to remove or modify, but 
it's sort of like getting a silver medal and feeling awful because you were so close to getting the gold versus getting 256 and just being okay whatever you know what i mean it's at that point just make something entirely different instead of making an approximation that's just barely wrong I'm Talamot, remember me, I'm the one who gave you those delicious treats before, and I'm the Traveler, and I found some of said delicious treats. Roar, roar. Play with the happy Infosaurus for a while, it seems he's in a much better mood. Roar, roar, roar. roar. This hey, Traveler, looks like he sees his friend already, we both got gifts too. Roar, roar. Thanks a lot. Roar, roar, roar. The little Infosaurus halfway circles you twice before turning and diving in the woods once more, looks like he's gone home. So hope he doesn't run into any more of those scoundrels. Let's head back as well. Here, take these as compensation. Friends of compensation for one commission. Well, this is a profitable excursion. Well, then you best keep the share you got from Odal Yimkasaurus. Well, as for what I gave you, huh? Just spin it on whatever you want. Fun. Got the achievement. Got an ember core flower. And the money. Hmm. But... What I really liked was how last patch, there was the one challenge where you had a totally preset deck and a preset hand. So it's Crandall become friends with a little Yunkasaur. Cute. Because it was a pure puzzle. It was just a matter of figuring out how to use... Yeah, it was a set hand, set deck, set dice even. And he had one turn to do it all. And he had to figure out how to clear that fight in that single round and there was basically one solution and a couple of red heron cards but the entire point is that it was something entirely different and frankly a lot of the tcg challenges just feel like standard tcg but harder as opposed to that preset deck one, which was very different in a number of ways, and I liked it a lot because of that. Also, Kai was in it. Ugh. Okay. Cool. So, gotta figure out how they try to pilot this. Hmm. Just trying to think. It's the deck for the first two challenges. They use the same deck of Bethesda, Lydia, and Lynette. Not just the same characters, but the exact same deck. Let's take a look real quick to see how they piloted it. Okay. Hmm. idea behind this was starting out start out with Dia oh and that makes sense too because didn't have to worry about dealing damage due to the way the turret worked uh, okay now I see Mostly boosted up with Thesley. Interesting. Basically, Dia tank a few hits. Okay. Not even really trying to hit Thesley at all. Interesting. I mean, not even trying to. Oh. Because the main thing is that since the Lecter's heal, you can either try to. Engage with the gimmick by keeping your energy up, or you can just try to burst down the lectures in a single turn. Okay, but did use. Oh, but that's right, that Dia's burst, since when you use her burst, it deals two hits. It's also really good at breaking those shields. Oh, interesting. Okay. Just focusing on getting kills. That's very, very normal. Okay. 
Very standard, not necessarily in a bad way, but definitely very standard. Okay. I get it, I get it. So it's just using Rathesley normally because he's because he's good. Okay. Do you want to use Diaz? Interesting. Give him a lot of artifacts at the start. I these are good options. Let's see if we can make this work. The first turn. Dia doesn't do anything really, and you just try to knock them all down. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. This here, that's a good option. Mm -hmm. Then honestly, probably put down Paimon. This works. Yeah, okay. Next round, we'll put down Molten Inferno and then just have Rathesley start punching. Okay. More than fine enough. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll figure this out. Cash flow supervision is a good option, too. Mm -hmm. I also want that on there. See if we can get. Yep, we can put down Dia's deal. This is good. We will attack. Not attack, but use that. There we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. See how all this works. Got a couple dice from that. Because you took that damage. Cool. Oh, Dia is kind of in trouble, though. Okay. Definitely want to give you this boost your attack cost. Okay, punch. Chilling penalty. All right. There we are. Stuff, and that has no cost now. Okay. See how many hits we can deal. Hmm. Okay. Damage. Ooh, nice. And now that's no cost at all. Wow. Okay. Another punch, and we can take out one of the lectors. It's exciting. Okay. And one lector down. And this is kind of crazy, honestly. That's shield up, but should also mean I can take you out, hopefully. Maybe. It's one down. One of you will go. Mmm. That's gone, unfortunately. Can't eat that either. But we can eliminate you. That's good. Yep, goodbye. Stun's there. And one of the lectures is just gone. How exciting. Got a heal, that's alright. Hmm. Question is going to be... How can I keep him alive? Let's see what happens. And... Ooh, damage. Luckily, we can heal up a bit, hopefully. Now, this is fine. Rathesley is just that good. Main thing is... Might need to... Heal up... Somehow. At least try to survive. Dia Burst could actually help. Take some of that down, maybe. Depending on how the shields go. You're gonna try to hit me now. Let's protect you a bit. Now we can heal ourselves. Very nice. Yeah, you just brute force this. That honestly makes me kind of sad. And that's damage. And a dead. 
Oh. Hmm. Increase that cost. It's unpleasant. But we'll just punch you. Okay. Should make things pretty doable. And you're gone. Thank you. Mm. And now you're frozen. You proc that? You need to change one of those dice. Hmm. How many instances do we got of... I can't use that skill no matter what is the thing. That's a shame. But we can get a bit of healing, which is good. Cool. And, well, oops, whatever. This will eliminate that Herald, which is good. Uh, you'll heal up a bit, yeah, unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Figure out how to handle this then. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. So we got the undercurrent, which I don't like. I. Ooh, that's death. It's not good. Huh. Hmm. Much to think about. Could punch a bit. It's not going to heal me, is the thing. Hmm. Could try some Lynette spam or something, but I don't know. That's tough. Get another hit in. It's fine. Hmm, I could maybe manage this just barely. Maybe. Ooh, Curse of the Undercurrent's still going. I don't like that. It's not good. Uh, uh. Need to do this slightly differently, I presume. I don't like that. Two versus three and... Hmm. Not much I can manage, huh? Well... Try to get some back, but it's just Curse of the Undercurrent. Being there is rather obnoxious. And it doesn't just disappear with turns. Whatever. Okay. Hmm, I can't get that down no matter what I do. That's what's annoying. Otherwise, I could try to convert all these, but I that's just not gonna work. Uh, we got barely screwed. Sucks. Hmm. Okay. I would imagine that once the shields start popping, it might be something you're supposed to do with Rathesley. I don't know. This is sad. How the hell did they do this? Took one out, but... Just keep punching? Yeah, they just kept punching. We just got unlucky, I guess. Hmm. Took one out, and... Hmm. To be fair, even Dia gone might have been part of the strategy, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we just got unlucky. That's a real shame. Okay. Basically, sometimes you win and sometimes you don't. Okay. Yeah, you really wanted opera at the clays. Yeah, and that's basically free, because 
They can't equip anything at all. That's not something that makes any difference ever. Hmm. Additionally, if at all possible, you want to save the burst for breaking shields. Because it deals those two hits. For four two applications of cryo, but hmm. Well it was a valiant effort, but I think we really need opera epiclays to make it work. Fair enough. Okay. Alright. These are tough. These are really, really tough. Alright. <sighs> At least we can take this down in one way or another. Makes no real difference. The Boggle Cat box is doing nothing. When that's just there, so that you use the Fontaine. Surprise. Uh. Use the Fontaine event to heal him. So it does take a bit of luck just getting the right cards. And that's... Victory with no stuff. Oh, round incomplete. So it's still... That's still platinum. But... <laughs> it's not a max score. Mm, yeah, we need to keep opera. That's... As true as anything. And no Martrusi. Hmm. That's sad. Uh, I think we need a fish for a perfect hand, basically. We can try this again, but... Uh, getting Vonorana would, would be nice. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting ideas. Okay... This is good. Bonarana. Put that down. Alright. Put that down on you. Sure. And I guess we'll do this. And then... Sure, we'll play it now. Hmm. Cool. Dia take those hits, and the Pyro will get on the Herald. Help me do some damage to it. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, Paimon and Parametric. I... Ah. It's gonna be interesting to see what I want to do with that, then. And that's already there. I think Paimon down now, and then we can get Parametric after. Sure. But, we're gonna take that hit. Which is not that good. Hmm. The Sanctum, at least. Okay. Then we can... Vaporize, which is nice. Hmm. And you'll switch out, which I don't like as much. Hmm. This would not make a huge difference, would it? That's three. We got two of those. I... Uh, how many attacks can I even manage, is the question. Not all that many. Hmm. That... This is an idea. You can try that, sure. Take that hit. Okay. Hmm. Oh my god, that energy. I... Will accumulate more damage. Hitting you like this, maybe. Hmm. Have to do a bit of math with him. It's interesting. Energy versus. Well, you'll drain that, but it'll take more damage if. Eh, whatever. Hmm. 
try to hit me again. Okay. Did not actually drain that, but... There's another big hit. Thank you. Now we can smack you one more time normally. That's... Mm, maybe some trouble. That will take you down and get rid of your shield at least, but... Ooh, this could be a bit of trouble. Still got the shield, but there's a good chance Rathesley just dies here. Hmm. This is gonna be a bit about fishing, I suppose. And that just killed? That just straight up killed? Really? Okay. Wow. You know, honestly, this might be only that moment. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Takes you down. Okay. That's gone. Torrential ward. Switched over there and now. It's four damage right there. Exciting. Boggle cat. Uh, still probably want that just for damage, but. It's actually about the same. I... This is Den of Thunder. Sure. Help with one of the other shields, at least. Now. Now. Try that again. Got a few more back, which is nice. And this will actually kill. Lynette, Lynette is actually bringing it home. That surprises me. Not in a bad way, but it does surprise me. Okay. Now you're over there. Oh, but... This is going to be tough, because I actually need to get... Multiple swirls now. Because that Electro is not going to actually deplete that shield. Said, I think the best option might actually be Dia's Burst. Depending on how many cards I can play. Luckily, we got a lot of cards. Okay. It's one. Now that back. Now we'll switch. And we will simply use her funny sword two more times. Don't need to damage you, just need to break your shield. Survive. Live. And... Settle it with a burst. There we go. Bit of scuff way to manage it, but we managed. Cool. Yep. Gone. And... Gone. Oh, wait! It didn't die. And the hat had to finish it off. Okay, that was really funny. <laughs> the hat did it! Okay. Well, that's one down. It's that same deck for the next one. Okay. Phantasmal Platinum. What is interesting is that apparently the way the Whopper Flower works is... Presents you with three cards, and one is wrong. You have to see... Check to see if the name is wrong. Okay. Interesting. Cannot be frozen. Will not be frozen. Hmm. Well, it... It's basically just, yeah. Keep Rathesley alive and have him fight things. Deceived... Hmm. Wanna get him that March to say and two Vanaranas. I don't like that. We need to. The yeah, ideal is putting down cash flow supervision, March say and 
Another one. Those are decent. This is always good, but... Uh, that's not good. The starting hand makes a difference. Not in the deck at the start of the match, but again, this car this deck is just total brute force. This is good for me. That's good for me. Okay. Gotta make sure it doesn't get wasted though. That is not nearly as good for me. Hmm. Cashflow and Marsha say. It's all about making sure that Rathesley can go on a run. <laughs> okay, these are decent. This is a decent enough starting hand. Okay. Hmm. No, this will do it. Not actually using any of the dice, so we'll be okay. Now we have two Primordial, primordial Jade Wing Spear, Luminary Stone, and Sweet Mam. Oh, Sweet Mam, Luminary Stone, Lumen Stone, Sweet Madam. So one is correct. And we didn't get fooled. And oh, that adds it to our deck. Oh, that's funky. Scout Tendery, Girl Chicken, Elemental Skills. Now see the mill with it. No, that's not right. That's not right. Additional damage, equipment card. Tenduri. That's correct too. Oh, that's a really interesting concept. You just get the card if you pick it right. Oh, well, <laughs> none of the, none of those can be used. Can't use any of those. Heal for one act of HP, whatever. And use that. So the idea is going to be more or less avoid playing cards while trying to go on a run. Okay, now I see. Interesting. Tainted Water Strike. Ooh, piercing. Not good. It's the end of that round. Okay. Well, I've been so okay. Interesting. Let's try to avoid getting deceived. Sometimes the name is right, but other things are wrong, which is scorching hat, delicious ma former site of the central laboratory. Delicious macarons. Former site, it's which is scorching hat. There we go. This is ornate Kabuto. Tomb of the Eternal Flow, Favonius Cathedral. Ornate Kabuto. That's correct, right? Yep, that was correct. Okay, we'll play that. And now we can move on to Spouting Waves. 200 damage, 100 damage. Got that. It's time. Can you switch now? Yeah, you should switch. Okay. Most of these are not really useful for me and are just going to end up getting tuned. That's okay. Hmm. Fueled you, didn't mean much. Go ahead, eat it. And. Shrill tune a bit. That's fine. Start our Ice Fang Rush. Ajimeo. Fierce Headbutt. Fierce Butt. It's one down. And we will take a little bit more damage from that. And now we should have... Just sit... Yep! That's basically for free now. How nice. Okay. Now... Not gonna get healing from this, though, which is the annoying thing. Hmm. I... Just tune a bunch, I suppose. That's fine. And there we are. That's one of them. You're down. And now... Hmm. Can't actually use that, but Riven will take it. I... Actually probably want Lynette to take the first hit. 
Or I could I could have switched to Dia and use that for a sack, but this is still quite good. This is not a bad way for things to go. Hmm. This is a really fun gimmick. This is an undeniably fun gimmick. Okay, uh, that's just one. Mushroom Pizza, King's Valet. No, it's King's Squire. It's food. Okay. Go ahead. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Don't like that. Well, you can survive. That's okay. Now you'll switch. You will. Is that to get a bit more? We... I'm not sure whether food would be a better option. Hmm. Healing is always good. I'd probably lead to getting killed, though. Okay. We'll go ahead. Heal ourselves. Okay. And... We are getting more damage from this, which is nice. Damage via the freeze. Alright, another punch. Heal ourselves. And now... Hmm, that's still two. Eh, still worth it. Use it whenever you get the option. And there we are. Fun. And... Go for another punch, except, well, actually, we don't have... Oh, wolf bite up. That's a thing. I honestly should switch now so that Dia can get sacked. And I can boost up Rathazali with Ito card next round. And Wyvern will take all of that. Very nice. So got mimicry going on for free cards. Very exciting. Strategic Dia death. Honestly, I do feel kind of bad about that. Now it's Legend of Vanessa, Echoes of an Offering, Gilded Dreams. Nope, Gilded Dreams is the one with a gold background. This is the only correct one. Normal attack. This is a skill. Well, a month will die. Do not have more than cards in your hand. Probably not going to be all that good for me. And yep, that one was correct. We haven't gotten a single one wrong. Nice. Go ahead, kill me. Okay. That is a fierce headbutt. Not going to burst. There we are. That healed you a bit. That's fine. I... Hmm. This is going to be better for me. It's the last attack going to get dealt anyway. Right. That won't help. That won't help me. Alright. Good damage. We can definitely bring this home. That is not actually damage taken, though, so I don't think that helped me. Okay. Cool. And... Many more things of ice th thing do I got. Figure this out. That's damage. And if nothing else, Dia... Dia turret will be able to finish that off for us. And that finishes it. Thank you, Rathesley. Yeah, it is sad that these challenges are better brute, brute force than... Played quote-unquote legitimately, but... It makes some sense. A good deck's a good deck. I do find it funny that Lynette's contribution is just being a Fontaine character to enable... Fontaine... Fontaine cards... I... You know what? We can take this right now. You only need 300 points to get all the coins, but of course, it's more fun to try to max that out. Vent cards. Sure, let's get a few. None of these are getting used right now here, but again, we are getting closer and closer to just totally catching up. Jet card. 
And... Yeah, we are close to being able to start actually getting the pretty versions of Arcane Legends, which... That's cool. Oh, that's exciting. It's gonna be fun. So I've been doing these strictly in order. All the character cards, all the equipment, all support, then moving on to events. Events are cheap, but there are a lot of them. Okay. Go on to the next, and tea time. Here my tea time card, and deck for that was this one, which actually is, again, it's just brute force. Just gotta see. The channel's name was Free to Play Genshin Impact. This is where I stole all those decks from. Okay, and how do they do this one? All opposing characters for 5 HP. Did. Oh, yeah, they're using Ganyu and. Touching and riding because all of them do good spread damage, right? Okay. Interesting. So what was their game plan here? Again, it was all spread damage. Hmm. Two melee cards. It's mostly for getting the burst up. Game plan was... For Akasha. And... That's interesting. Storm Eye Down. And probably just a normal to... Get the burst up, maybe. Stone and Contracts. Okay. So no damage dealt for certain period. Okay. Healing is mostly irrelevant there, and... Trying to get Amos down? We got... Five rounds for that, which is... Impressive, really. Action phase, three on the element and one card. Delay that. Okay. Hmm. What are they trying to do? Camors is there. Normal attack up. Hmm. Doesn't seem like they're just trying to play random cards to prevent the healing. Did try to decrease or boosting of energy there, but I wonder if they'll use the burst twice or what. Main thing is catching burst is really, really good. For all this, because that spread damage does work well. Hmm. Well then, am I going to manage? And they just start shooting, probably. Probably. Hmm. And they put Amos on Ganyo. And they started shooting. Let me just see. And oh, played Storm Terror's Lair to get, to guarantee Unreconciled Heart. Okay. Interesting. Coral Ring Dancer, and then just played Paimon. Okay, so mostly they're just letting the healing happen, but 
I can't open things power up. Interesting. Use the burst or... Do they even use the burst at all here or... Hmm. Figure out this game plan. Mostly they're focusing on... Cross-like arrows and not actually using gun, use burst. Probably saving Cutching Burst as a finisher. No, they do use the burst, eventually. Then... Hmm. And they switch to Cutching. And... Energy up. Oh, didn't use the burst there, though. Interesting. That's reasonable. That should be fine. Game point's not all that complicated. Okay. Shkard, amount of healing reduced by one. Okay, fair enough. But Eremite Teton is not something they actually seem to be bothering with here. Okay. Hmm. This. Two less. That's an idea. Hmm. 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 Other cards, though. Hope we get. That's actually a good one to get. Okay. Let's try to make sure we get. Shock ready to just sit around it down. Then Vorakasha and hmm. That's a bit tough. And same elemental type, one location. Yeah, we don't even use this. We bypass that. Okay. Put on Quarena. Now we can use this. To get Amos on Ganyu for free. And that's pretty good. Okay. Cool. Put this down. So we can get that talent card. Now we will ensure that happens. Okay, cool. Thank you. And then, next round, we do a basic hit and then try to use Ride and Burst. And then from there, it's spam Ganyu shots until till it becomes a good idea. Okay. Now I see. Mm -hmm. A lot of cards. I... Hmm. That... That is good. That's actually good. Shrew play Vonorana. Get that down, and then... We'll do something. Boost ourselves up. That... Could be good. Okay. Okay. There we are. Nice. Use four. Storm Territory is also boosting Ganyu, which I honestly forgot about. I forgot that worked for Ganyu. Okay. Go over here. This will be fine. Cool. And one Aramite tea time. And now this should be in the way. To start shooting. Hmm. Depending on how good Gambors is going to be for me. Let's see what happens. I. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, we can get a shot in. There we are. Exciting! Hmm. Can use that burst now, which. Probably be a 
We can use that for touching. We can. Hmm. Let's actually put that down now. Active character prioritize at least two. Voltage on touching. Yeah, sure. I play that. Increase your healing a bit. Could try to shoot another arrow, actually. But I think this is going to be a better option. Let's build up that damage as much as we can, as quickly as we can. Switch over here, and then we can also play our high voltage. Then also, may as well put this down, actually. Decrease that healing even more. That's good. This is good. Satisfied with this outcome. Hmm. Heal a little. Not too much. Now, hopefully get a nice burst in. Uh, yeah. Not great. Starward, and that will take out a couple. Hmm. Or we can just play both of these. Increase that healing even more and take one of them down. Nice. Good damage. Thank you. Very, very good. This is very reasonable. <sighs> Question is, what's next? Okay. Might actually play this one. Random talent card, but that's not the issue here. Sure. And that's four. Play that. Get a shot in, and that just... That just kills him. <laughs> that just kills him outright. Excuse me? So that's... Boost that to... Just the... That damage. Wait. Boost it by two. Normally that should be three, and... Wait... It's not boosting your cryo damage like it does in real life, quote unquote. Not exactly sure what's going on here. I'm not going to complain. Oh, but it's not because of the cryo. Oh, it's because you take more cryo damage with that up. Okay, well, that's two deaths. Okay. A bit gambler's moment. Yeah, we'll put that down. Draw another card, and you're not gonna heal at all. Wow. I guess we could end this disrespectfully by just using a normal hit. Yeah, let's go for maximum disrespect. It's a fun deck. Yeah, Ganyu and Kaching are just good whenever you've got more than three enemies. And almost dead, but go for the flower, the arrow, or the worst arrow. Now let's be fun with it. There you go. You daughter the strong attack. Yeah, that that was good. It's a real good team for that. I feel like to show off those decks after all this. Okay, couple more. Shops commodities and machine assembly one and Sinyata flower. Yeah, it's once we get those, it'll just be by six or so of these per week because it's six thousand. There'll be more cards next patch, but. By the end of the year, I'd say, I should be fully caught up. And then at, at that point, it's just... Weekly matches would just be for proficiency and making sure I can buy anything new out immediately. I wonder if they'll add a new coin sink soon. 
Because it really is just buy letters to get new cards. Buy cards. Buy skins. Yeah. Nice, pretty golden deck. Okay. We'll start breaking. For that one, they used this team. Sage Tippetal. Uses a skill or equips a talent card each round. Each of your characters. For that, switching between them. Gotta figure it out, because definitely with the team, figure out how to pilot it, but it's definitely a matter of sort of triggering overloads and getting Nahida's damage in, because she deals damage when reactions are triggered. How is this team piloted? What do you start with and what do you try to use? Answer is... Start with Fischl, and one less elemental die. Oh, that's really funny. They started off by just ramping completely, and nothing else. Then I presume they just put down Oz, and then... Okay. Interesting. Put down Oz. And then you switch to Winnie, actually, and go for his shot. Basically, getting a bunch of summons to trigger overloads to disrupt the enemy and trigger Nahida's. We'll deal two. Hmm. That ramp strategy is definitely interesting. And then you go for her big Siva Skanda. And then presumably you just reapply everything there. Turn after turn. Okay. It's reasonable. Hmm. Who do you try to keep up after that? Switch to Linny for a big hit into... Oh, and you also get burning going, so yeah, it's just triggering constant reactions for the Hida's piercing damage, which also helps considering the Wawatril's damage resistance. And then when he dies, and you let him die. Okay. Because once you've got fire, you don't really need more fire. Okay. It's reasonable. Now that's not that tough. I think they might actually beat this in fewer rounds. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they managed to beat it in four rounds with that team. What I'm going to be using right now. It's exciting. Stronger offense. Okay. No, but it's all about keep Libin in, and hopefully you get two Vonoranas, basically, and we didn't get that. So we gotta try again. You play a card whose name and... At least one. So we actually don't engage with the gimmick at all, as usual. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Pretty sure they actually got rid of the stage tepidal. Cool. We got two Vanaranas, that's not nothing. Hmm. But the ideal is two Vanaranas and a Liban. For maximum ramp. Alright, I Oops, oops. I think it's just gonna be out of shuffling, shuffling, shuffling until I get it right. It's really ramping up that loss ratio. 
Not that I mind. Oh, and also use Liar Song to get Gilded Dreams back. Two such dice. Draw one card for reaction damage. Interesting. Draw one card up to twice per round. Hmm. Attached character, but it's not perfect. Probably use the Arcane Legend there, but I. Hmm. Definitely want to start with a good hand. You can definitely win this without having every thing go right, because they were able to handle you beat it in four rounds. Can't imagine it'd be horrible to do it in five, but much to consider. Okay. So what did they try to get rid of? Starting hand was... Let's see. Starting hand was Gilded Dreams. Liban. Then the Vonaranas. And then Liar Song. Ah, uh, and they put it on Nahida. Just used a ramp. Okay. To generate Dendro dice. Okay. It's a very, very interesting way to start things off. It... You really want to use your 5 cost elemental skill, so... Getting those Dendro dice is going to be... Rather important. Mm. Uh, wonder how useful gamblers would even be here. That's a thing. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, the fact that the arcane legend is always guaranteed might be more of a problem, actually. Talent or skill. Hmm. Fire song is ideal. That... Uh, not perfect. I... Guess I could put Oz down, but... I got three cards, I should just go for it. Can't afford to be this... Finicky about starting hands and three of them, really? Whatever. Whatever. Uh, okay. We can try this. See how this is gonna work. That, uh, not bad. Could be worse. Hmm. You know, go with it like this. Just like this. Okay. And that will fix Liban. Addition to making that work. Okay. Maybe this can work. Maybe this can work. You're gonna bubble me. Whatever. Bubble blowing babies. Okay. Keep some of this going. Ruling Scythe. Alright. Let's switch into Hida and Prey. Okay. Some of that in. This. Next elemental skills deal more damage. That could be quite good depending on how things go. Increasing cost is also nice. Thank you. Okay. That's in. Can make that work. Can make that work for us. Thank you. And... There we have it. Five Dendro damage and Sita Skanda. Very nice. And a card. 
Mm -hmm. Damage, damage, damage. Gonna bubble, that's okay. Cool. And now, and now, let's see. Let's elemental diamond using their skill next time, but everyone's eaten is the thing. Mm -hmm. Could put Wybin down, but that will also work. Yeah, Grin Malk is good. Sack of prop surplus. Okay. Piercing damage. Sure. Okay. That's five damage, though. I we gotta go for that. I have to accept that. Cool. And probably you can put gamblers on you, sure. Let's use that for something. Okay. This will be good too. Gotta see who survives and oh right, you're taking damage. Right, okay. That's gonna hit me too. Hmm, okay. Oh, those reactions. Hmm. Okay. You'll see how well this works. How well I can pilot this team to victory, hopefully. I think this will be good. That will pay for itself. Four versus five. I will deal more damage in the end. To get a damage boost for this skill, which makes some difference. Okay. What you gonna do now? You gonna hit me? Yep, you'll hit me. Cool. Decent enough for the sack. And defeat this round. I need that now, don't we? Maybe. Well. One versus. You want that is to not waste it. Hmm. Play that now. Cool. Get the burning in and seeds on them. And then. User burst. Right. I got gilded. It's three actually. Energy's there already. Now we need to convert. That's some trouble. Alright, good damage though. Very good damage though. Okay, cool. Hmm. See how this works. And six physical damage. That steals one though. Hmm. Be able to just barely survive that ideally. Just barely. Okay. Oh, but no, I didn't survive and that killed me. Well, that was ridiculous. Okay. Huh. Hmm. And this is gonna take some serious luck. Luck. Okay. Uh, uh. I. That's a tough one. Honestly, the enemy's offense is more of a problem than their defense. Yeah. Hmm. Triggering as many reactions as possible is the idea, but just can't whip that. That's a thing. Now you're there and you're gonna try hitting me. Yeah. All of them just to deal more damage. Wow. Hmm. Well, whatever. Uh, uh. Uh, 
and we need some cards with which to ramp at least. Hmm. What's gonna be good? Not that really. Uh, uh. Main thing is I can't use most of that at all. Each character, one less elemental die once per round. That. Uh, I guess that will pay for itself eventually, but still. Got Lybin and Vonorana, that actually isn't bad. Okay. Mm, but the food there is less than ideal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Only ramp so much, only keep so much. Guess I could use that, but. Or. Yeah, we'll just do that and charge up the burst ever so slightly. Should help a bit. I hope. Cool. Cool. That's one of them. Next turn we can use Night Rider. Okay. Then probably one of the cost reducers. Maybe, maybe. Let's figure out how this math will be done. Okay. Wonder who will survive and how. I hmm. That stuff. That official is kind of dead. Well, hmm. the Hida is kind of dead. Hmm. Two versus. I could get those up basically for free if I felt like it. One less done with using their skill next time. <laughs> More damage. Sure. Well, uh, if I'm using Winnie's arrow, this would be better. Mm -hmm. The skull or piercing damage was dealt, or the action was triggered. Mm -hmm. What is that? Then, I don't want to take that hit. Okay, go ahead, use your bubble on me. Got that burst in there. Eventually. Right. Cool. No. I'm gonna prep that again? Okay. Fair enough. I guess. Hmm. Unless we're using a skill. See the Skanda, sure. That will get a card. That can't hurt me. Okay. Thank you. And we'll get some of that going. And we'll switch. Thank you. Got that in. We can switch over to Winnie and... Yep, just one cost, meaning... Switch something in. Mental reaction, sure. Maybe not the best time for that, whatever. Gamblers... Won't be amazing, probably. There we go, get our prop surplus up. Increasing damage, help with that. Cool. Then you'll crystallize me. Okay. XE skills deal more damage. That's a nice idea. Cool. Someone will get sacked. That's gone. Now you've moved. Okay. 
and burst everyone's skill damage. Everyone's skill damage up. Okay, and we will see whether we can survive this or not. Who knows? Okay. Probably not. Okay. Honduri roast chicken. Six versus... Here's our six. Good damage. And you'll kill me. Cool. Immediately use that burst. Thank you. Smack it with that. Well, it... This would deal more damage, though. Is that for the die, really? <laughs> okay. Now... What? It's your bubble. Oh, okay. Cool. Hmm. That's not coming. Is the thing. It's geo damage already. I don't like that. Huh. I. This is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Hmm. It. Very curious as to how survival works here, really. <laughs> Stonehide. Okay. Alright. And. That is finally gone. Okay. That's there. Should be able to keep that, I hope. Maybe. Hmm. Really does just depend. Yeah. That's nauseating. Five. Five. Hmm. More or less the same. More or less the same. Is there skill next time? That won't make a difference, sadly. We're gonna use bubble. Okay, nice. Five and will deal slightly more damage. Um. All right. Got to figure this out. Two less. Mm. Not really doing artifact stuff. Can shuffle or ungilded. I want to be silly, but. Play that. Probably play Gamblers. Don't have the Ito card, though. Hmm. That's... Hmm. Much to think about. Stonehide and... Four Elemental Reaction for additional damage, though. Who? And that's just three, but... Put that on you. For the gamblers. Got that. And you'll kill me. I will just barely, barely lose. Okay. Oh, I could have. That wouldn't have made a difference. Hmm. Shudong would have been okay. Probably. I. Huh. Can use that, but I won't proc a reaction. Four than two. I. Who? Yeah, very much, very much so. Whew. One less. Makes you happy, huh? Sure. I think I can do this, actually. 
We can apply or something. Yeah, gambler's unofficial. Now, oh, gambler's unofficial. Use official burst. Okay. This will either be really good or really disgraceful. That will kill. Thank you. Go ahead. I think we're actually gonna just barely miss it. Okay. Thank you. Oh no! We're gonna just barely get it. And we'll finish off with the Nahida Burst. 1 HP Nahida quenching it. Now that was clutch. We still beat it in four rounds. It's just... Five rounds is very illusory. Because you're probably gonna either die horribly or win in four. So that's all. Now we can actually do the Nahida then. That's fun. This... Even with... Teams given to me... That was evil. Though, to be fair, nobody plays TCG anymore except people who are really serious about it, so... Fair. So, we only have... Oh... They didn't add any more cards, it'd just be... A little over eight weeks and... Can max out... All the skins... What, that nobody plays TCG anymore? Except people who are just really sweaty because it's an inherently niche game mode. Fair. Yeah, it... Well, I'm bad at it. I play it because it's another thing to collect and do. But... Well, what, what do they even say? Give her surprises. Go to Port Ormos. Samara is holding the Subzerus Festival. On hearing the news, you arrive to see some familiar faces. Chromatic Ode of Candies and Roses' first gift. The festive fervor of the Subzerus Festival can be continually accumulated by participating in festival events and be used to unlock various rewards. I wonder what team would be fitting. I I think what they meant by that, if there was any truth to that statement, it would be when you use her ultimate, it functions differently basing, based on whether you have enough crystallizable elements on the team. So therefore it either plays, it either heals or it does three more hits. I, I guess that counts as different music, quote unquote, but... Sounds a little misleading. If that's what was meant. Okay. Who would work? Just trying to think of who I can put in for a logical Samaru team. Nahida can read, read minds, so not want to get rid of her. Who else? Hmm. Electro. In, in the end, I'm not going to be using upper fights or anything. What do you mean couldn't watch the whole thing? Was it too long or did he just get impatient? Well, whatever difference there is there. Okay. Time to go to Bort Bormos. Want to see whose minds we can read. And Oh, so are all the minigames gonna be around here or Oh. That's sad. And buy a sword just like Diaz. 
I wish it didn't force you to go on cooldown after reading mods, like when I go shield, just like Candace's. That's cute. I'm up with candy, seek the flowers next. Next, what's next on your way? See, I wonder if there are any weapons from surrounding you. Want to buy a sword? The bigger the better. Oh, but that's dangerous. Could even lift it. If I can't, you're all for it. The two of us should be able to carry it back to Aria Village. And then I'll have something one buy, and you have to help me carry it to I 10. Say no more, and we know exactly what you want. Aria will pick out a shield every bit as awesome looking as Candace's. Again, it's a shame that Candace is borderline useless. And her only use case is actually. Not good if you have her C6, because it's Milani. Dharma Kirti, researcher. And C6, she applies too much hydro. This clinical trial goes smoothly. Uh -huh. I've already done all I could to get help, so please, please let this go well. I don't think they could. They managed to make Dia good, but there's just nothing that Candace really offers besides just being literally a purely worse Xing Chao and Yewan. Bear, bear! Goddess of Flowers, when doing business, let's go to weep some haggling room by starting at a higher price. Freddy, have you heard the legend of the Dance of Subzeros? Would you like to hear, feel the breath of the Goddess of Flowers? If you think that the Goddess of Flowers can bring only the fragrance of Patisara, you're practically blind. The spice of Samara hardly so on notes. It's complex and mysterious sense can only be felt here. Interesting. So they're right over there. They don't have anything to say. Phantom Toy Master. Interesting. Go on toys, spread happiness to people. Honestly, I need to take a quick bathroom break after all those TCG challenges. I'll be right back. Hey, Tina and Chloe are there. Oh, and Dee and Candace are with them. Okay.
Okay. I'm back. I'm alive. <sighs> Time for fun, I guess. Port Ormos music is still among the best in the game. Let's go say hi. No, I just wanted to get some chips. I'm going to go to Thurston Summit and let's get this show on the road. Oh, and again, please be careful. Moikai, one more time. My assuming we want is for her to find out about our plan. Don't worry about that, mercenaries can keep a secret like our lives depend on it. I'm not sure this scenario is quite that extreme. You know what I mean, Candace? It's just a figure of speech. Which... Oh, I'm still kind of nervous. I'm not that I'm scared of what's on the slip. It's just what if she suddenly shows up behind me without warning? Oh well. Hey there, what are you guys talking about? He's gonna th probably gonna think we're Nahida. Yep, exactly. Oh, nothing I swear. I don't know anything you don't know. I'm not hiding anything. Definitely hiding something. Just tell us. The cat's already out of the bag. Hold that Koei. At least check who it is before you freak out. Aww. Traveler Paimon, fancy seeing you here, great to see you all. Well, it's you two, oh, you scared me off to death, just like when I was focused in class and Mr. Tinri suddenly shows up behind me, but even scarier. You're here for the sub Zero's festival? Yep, festivals are always so fun. Seem like the perfect time to come back and hang out with all of our friends. Yeah, but it's... We're not Nahida, though. She's still afraid, but not because we're Nahida. If it was Nahida... Well, I'm not even- I don't think people even know that Nahida can read minds. I'm not sure that's something they're aware of. This one is extra special. I heard from Master that the Academia is planning a grand birthday celebration for the Dendro Archon. Perhaps it's a small attempt to make amends for their past behavior. Hey, I guess we came at the perfect time. A grand celebration calls for even more good food and fun than usual. But were you guys some out just now? Papa heard something about a secret. Over here, you too. I'll explain everything in private. Well, yeah. We're preparing a birthday surprise for Nahida. Ooh, a birthday surprise. It was Dia's idea, actually. Well, it was just something that occurred to me while talking with Junior Zan. This is very special. Always seems to follow the same formula. So I figured a change of pace might be nice. Here's not like the idea, and so did the other, so we got the ball rolling pretty quickly. If we want this to be a surprise, the fewer people who know, the better. We're dealing with the god of wisdom here, a single step of the tongue is enough to spoil the whole thing. Yeah, that all makes sense, so do we have to keep talking like this until the festival ends? Ham, so anyway, we've only asked a few of our friends to help out since they have to have some free time. So what exactly are you planning? Well, we heard the Dendro Archon was candy, so we want to take advantage of that. We're also planning a birthday meal after the carriage parade. So the Hoft Mewa feast as well. We have most of the specifics to Kabe. Right now all we need to do is purchase the food and decorations. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah, put us to work. Now that we're in on the plane, we should do something to contribute. Candice, weren't you looking for someone to help you with the shopping? Yeah, I've been in the desert so long, I was worried it wouldn't be the best judge of the goods around here. We can help with that. As long as it's not too much trouble. No trouble at all, we're more than happy to help. It seems like you're really learning your matters, Pama. I'll happily we take you up on that offer then. Now that it's settled, Tudor will book the venue. Tudor Zodna will take care of decorations, and you three are on food. What's so exciting? This is going to be the best birthday surprise Nikita could ask for. Alright, Pama, I'll spring out. Gotta keep it a secret. Here we go. When are we going to unlock the mini games? Oh? Ah, and it's for the branch we got from beating the Samara Archon class. And now it's blooming. And it's playing her theme too, that's fun. Rocking carriage. Masood notice the Phantom Toy Master is at the Subzera Special recommending his new game to guess. So I guess we could do all these right now, maybe? Or. Mapping dreams and reality, a certain Amorta researcher is looking for volunteers for a psychotherapy experiment. Sleepy Nahida. That's cute. Swinging Nahida. And... Valiant Nahida. Shadow of the Night's Blade, Bihar, and the researcher Safi are currently preparing for a special event that will tell the tale of the unknown battles of the Night of Flowers. Huh. Interesting. Well... Shopping is over there. Let's just do these all right now, honestly. 
Dorma Cutie, Seeger, Book Collector, The Two People in Trouble. Hmm. If you want to buy me out, you should offer at least twice as much as that. Hey, can I make a wish to Lesser Lord Cusinelli for some more valuable books to add to my collection? Just since I lost the batch of literary treasures, that looks been awful. Your books that's even slightly valuable gets reserved by the academia first. They even take all the worthless ones. So you say I should just get a job at the house of Dana, actually. Don't tell me what you think of over. Do they hire foreigners there? Yeah. And... Babak. Shadi. I talked to you before. Okay, these are... People who have been here previously, I presume. Okay. Yo! Bear Bear. And... Where is right Masood over here, Phantom Toy Master? Well, my greetings to you, dear traveler from afar, and to your little friend. Have you been enjoying the sub Festival? If you're both interested, I, the Phantom Toy Master, shall be pleased to invite you to play a new game, The Rocking Carriage, flower that blooms only during the festival. And what's that? Just hearing the name, Putman's kind of imagining Nahida happily swaying from side to side in her carriage. And I'm getting all glad some over here, just seeing her say that makes someone watch Nahida do that too. And for all in Samir, wish that the Dendro Archon shall be happy every day after all. Association you made, I want an excellent scene, one that deserves to be rendered upon a magnificent scroll, if I do say so myself. So the atmosphere of this game is a livelier thing, rather than a celebration. It's best thought of as an adventure. Smart or not, nice or naughty, every child with a good heart will receive their own flower carriage during these sub zero festival celebrations. Riding in their carriage, the children shall embark on unique adventures, encountering and overcoming danger. Find the greatest treasure, a thousand blooming flowers. Pond's both smart and nice, trust me, we're danger overcoming pros. Yeah, that's right, as for that treasure, it may as well be ours already. Ah, good, good, in that case, play on, play to her heart's content. Huh. If, while the flower carriage is in motion, you can change its route to avoid obstacles. Now this is basically Temple Run. The flower carriage will lose HP when it hits any obstacles, and if HP is fully depleted, you will fill the challenge and additionally collect as many flowers as possible to fulfill the score requirements. How many versions? Holiday events. Celebration anecdotes. So fervor. We already have C6 Candace, so... Won't be all that much. Got a bunch. It's Adventure Time Flower Carriage. Lots of artifact juices from this, too. Traveler from afar has your rocking carriage experience been. I've got some suggestions you tell until I'm listening. Carriage moves a little too slowly. I see you're quite the speed or enthusiast. Must be the sensory stimulation, eh? It said the rocking carriage is intended for the general public's enjoyment. I suspect that many children, ladies, and older folks' sexism might lack your alacrity. I lack your alacrity. Kill me. I could try developing, say, a great Eremite Labyrinth Escape for you, featuring greatly accelerated gameplay. I'm sure that will not feel to satisfy. We haven't even played this yet, but... We weren't challenged enough. I see, sir, the sort who prefers a challenge, then the harder the challenge, the more you enjoy overcoming it. I should say that the Rocky Carriage is a leisurely festive game, and many tourists prefer a simple, relaxing time. But for almost people that spend much time studying a game they just encounter, making these are complicated, but scaring potential players off. What could I do for you, could do for you is try developing a Forest Ranger's Great Fungus Adventure, with additional obstacles of all sorts, even some moving puzzles. I'm sure that will satisfy your desires. Wonder if any of those are things I'll actually try doing, because it seems as if these are more or less meant to be responding to players who think it's too easy. There was no combat during the drivers, so the type prefers to overcome any foes in your adventures, a lastly incorporated combat elements into the game. The focus would shift from driving the flower carriage to the larger experience of shooting from a moving vehicle. Some prefer that simple driving experience, others prefer vehicle combat, both understandable positions. I could attempt to design, say, General Mahamatra's Swift Pursuit, which will focus on running battles and intercepting foes. I'm sure that will better meet your expectations. <coughs> that is interesting, considering that a lot of minigames from larger events do get brought back on their own. Like that parry event in Iridori becoming the... Ayaka costume event, Phantom Toy Master is quite the title. Really, thank you for the compliment. I'm quite fond of myself, inherited from my grandmother, in fact. Whenever I hear that name, it reminds me of my childhood goal to make toys that make everyone happy. Just thinking about it, it fills these old bones with boundless vitality. Your grandmother, you say? It's a long time ago, long, long time ago. Granny visited Mysterious Domain by accident. She made some strange trends and Garrett and gained a nearly boundless font of inspiration upon returning to Samaru. She banned it to develop all manner of unique toys. Shame, though, that she was ever focused on making the most extravagant complex game mode. She really considered if children could take it all in or pay much attention to market conditions. 
My objective assessment is that her work only received recognition from a limited number of customers. Despite her good reputation, her works weren't able to bring that simple happiness to a larger audience at the time. Take it all in, you say? So we put children of all ages by toys, and they all went at different speeds. They can't generalize about their ability to get up to speed on something new. Some toys are too complex, some games have too many rules, even teens might struggle to memorize everything in a short time. Children would struggle all the more. Granny was far too enthusiastic about her work and neglected this. It's negatively impacted her sales. Wouldn't say it was her fault or that of the children, they just weren't really well suited for one another. Had Granny switched to starting your toys at the adult market, imagine things would have gone differently. So he's referring to the flying toy gal from Valerium last year, I believe. Okay, and forgot her name though, but she was the one in the tent, if I recall correctly. So what were those market conditions on? Isn't that a complex condition? To be question, to be honest, I've read many fine texts from many a scholar, but I still don't know how to evaluate it. Simply put, more exquisite and ingenious toys require more investment, which will increase the price, just as clockwork toys cannot be sold for the same price as origami models. But neither Granny nor I figured out how much the price should be raised, how much more does everyone have in their purses, how much are they willing to pay for toys? That's something that only they know. Customers' feelings are also key if they're interested in one of your toys. Some of them will be willing to spend a bit more, but if you don't catch their eye, they'll wait to get it on sale. There's no objective standard. Granny made that error, and though she tried to lower price as much as possible, she still ended up running into the wall many times as a result. Such I do intend to do my best to strike a balance between quality, production costs, and price. All in all, I've been quite happy these last few decades, and I have her to thank for it. She designed about more toys than I could ever finish playing with. She was still with us. We played with them together whenever she could find the time. I'm bright enough to join on the past. Anyway, I'll do my best to spread this joy to as many people as possible. And we can talk later. I've got other things to do right now. No issue. The joys of toys await you any time. Gotta give it another try first. Fair enough. Rock to the rhythm of the carriage. It's adventure time, flower carriage. At the beginning of the story of adventure, the flower carriage departs amidst the excitement and anticipation. For the children, as the wheels slowly turn, the path is wide and flat, and obstacles appear, but appear but now and again serving as the first trials on the road ahead. It starts instantly. Okay. Flower carriage is setting off clock flowers to score points. Okay. Alright, and Simple enough, yeah. Hmm. Little bit of dodging necessary. Yeah, it's just Genshin Temple Run. Genshin Pull Run. Okay. Wonder how much. What slows us down if we hit a pot, or what? I like how it plays the battle music, too. A remix of... Swirls of Shamshir. Yeah. Oh, it seems like there's a medal we can get. So I wonder what maximum score would be. I wonder if hitting pots decreases a score or just... slows you down or decreases health or something. Given that distance seems to be marked there, I wonder if it would slow you down, or if that's just in case you lose early, or something. Now we're at gold. Platinum, maybe? No. And that's all. Nice. Okay, so it seems you're gonna only get a gold. 137, 604. Now I wanna see if we hit it. If we hit a pot, will it slow us down? Or... It doesn't slow you down, actually. Okay. Fail if you leave now, well, whatever. Select stage. A dance of winding past as the journey continues. The winding road unfolds before your eyes as the flower carriage weaves back and forth. Passengers sway with it as though rocking to the musical rhythm and the thrilling challenges cease to be nerve-wracking. It's gonna be different music this time. The flower carriage will automatically collect new raw flowers for time after you collect a clustered blessing. Same message. Ah, oh, we got Ormos music now. Fun. Alright. Yep, because otherwise you would not be able to get all of them in multiple lanes now. That's gone. Oh, there's mud. Okay. Thank you. Cool. 
<sighs> Whenever you got something like this, it always is very tempting to go for max score, just like with TCG. Okay. And, right. The blessing is gone now. I wonder if hitting the mud ball would decrease health or just make it harder to see. Way to go all the way across that time. Wow. Okay. And the middle. No. And that. Ooh, that was rather narrow. That took very precise timing. Cool. There we are. Still 20 more seconds. It's interesting that's kind of rhythm. It. Oh my. We already messed up. Okay. Stupid. Stupid. <clears throat> Stages are getting longer. I guess that's why they don't mark it as perfect. It's just sometimes you get a gold medal if you feel like it. Because otherwise it become rather vexatious. Yep, a little over a minute and a half for this one. Tap twice to get all the way across. But, I actually go across rather quickly, but you have to tap it twice. Okay. It's fun. Cool. Cool. And now our blessing is going away. We're about halfway through. It's a fun one. But it is interesting that those four hits are all you get for the entirety. There's no way to get any back, it seems. Very, I wouldn't say long haul, but it means you have to... Every hit you take is a hit you can't take again. At least right now. Wouldn't be surprised if there were ways to get health back in later challenges. Cool. And... Yep, go all the way across. It is interesting that it isn't really about rhythm. Even if... You could argue that maybe these kind of represent notes, but they actually don't. And 1870. Dance of Winding Pass. 1370, 1870. Lucky number 7, I guess. Magical treasure trove. The children have heard from adventurers that treasure is always protected by layers and layers of tough obstacles. The thousand blooming flowers are no different. However, overcoming different trial difficult trials makes the feeling of accomplishment upon obtaining the treasure all the more glorious. How long is this one going to be? The flowers you obtain will grant you bonus points for some time after obtaining a blooming boon. The flower carriage will become immune to the negative effects of collisions with obstacles for some time after obtaining a buttressing blessing. Okay. <clears throat> this is not as long. What song is this? Is this new? Okay, well. Let's get everything. Double that point value. It's a matter of ensure you collect everything, but we don't need that. Buttress do we? We can still avoid everything if you time very precisely. This seems to be an entirely new song. That's one you can't avoid. Okay. At least one that you would have to avoid. You would miss some flowers, I believe, if you actually avoided them physically. Okay. That's reasonable. Alright. We can just weave in and out that way. Seems to be speeding up and slowing down. Okay. And we're already at a gold. It's exciting. And alright. One, two, three. And that's all. 1900. Cool. I am not familiar with that song, though. It might have been something's theme. Perfect plan for procuring precious treasure after experiencing all the trials along the way. The children have long since grown accustomed to all kinds of obstacles as well as become ace drivers. Now they can plot an ingenious course through any obstacles sailing through to reach the final treasure. I bet at least one of these is 
character trailer theme, and some stages of the flower carriage will continue to accelerate up to top speed if it hits no obstacles for a while. So this is about actually... Dodging actually makes a difference here, then. This... Might be Ava Worrium. Top speed. Final one will probably combine them all of them. Okay. Yeah, I feel as if I've heard this somewhere before. Don't know where. And now it's speeding up. Good stuff. Okay. Hmm. And there's our buttressing blessing. Okay. Keep moving. Now the increased speed isn't all that disorienting, but it's definitely making a difference, and it does mean you have to actually avoid all obstacles if you want to get that perfect. Then you'll slow down. Interesting. Okay. Cool. And I... Oh! Okay, yep. That's how that went. I wonder if you can get all of those flowers then. I'll probably have to make a last minute switch. Two minutes of this, huh? Okay. Hmm. I'm sure the wiki would say what every song is originally from if they have sources. I think this is either Valorium or... I think this is Valorium. Might have been that choo-choo cart theme, I think, actually. That was a year ago, wow. Okay. It can change rails. Well, lanes very quickly, so... Have to be fast with it. Mm, this is easier one to avoid. Okay. We want that perfect. Okay. One tap. And there we are. And, yep, you can get that. I think you get all of them on both sides like this. Well, no, no, you collect all of them in all three lanes. You don't have to be just one away when you've got the pickup increase thing. And we can actually avoid hitting them. If you're very, very good about it. And, yep, it does go across all three lanes. You don't have to worry. But it does seem like the OE is actually slightly circular, so... We'll still pick it up, but it's noticeably going to be later than on the other side. Okay. It's interesting, actually. Okay. Doing fine for ourselves. Honestly, this is... This is fun enough. If it was harder, I'm not sure how I'd feel about that. It's a good little challenge, but it's not stressful. And there we are. 2800. Cool. Wheat. And a gorgeous, lovely, endless journey after returning with the ultimate treasure of a thousand blooming flowers. The children often continue the adventure in their dreams. The flower carriage is every bit as magnificent in dreamland, and the road ahead stretches on endlessly. The destination matters not, as all they need to do is enjoy the pleasure of riding along on the flower carriage. Okay. Stage a gorgeous, lovely, endless journey is. An endless cyclical stage. The flower carriage will keep proceeding onward, facing speed or tougher challenges. You can end the challenge whenever you wish. Well, see how long. Oh, actually, it. It can go up to six minutes. Can we survive for six minutes? Let's see. That's an interesting idea. You can end whenever you wish, but you don't have to end it. Hmm, okay. But every hit you take is a hit you are not getting back. Hmm, okay. I and I wonder how long it'll speed up for. Certainly interesting. I I wanna get every flower. Okay. Wonder what song this is. I oh, that was a bit tough. 
Oh, we already missed one. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Try that one more time. What is the theoretical max score here? Especially since you speed up. As long as you don't take hits, because... So max score would mean survive for all six minutes, hitting, getting hit not even once, getting every single flower. Wow. It's legitimately kind of frightening. Okay. I think we've got multiple. We have multiple buffs active right then. I... The song is vaguely familiar. Pretty sure it's at least based off of some classical piece in addition to being Valoria Mirage related. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Okay, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Now that. This is rather. Crazy. It's getting pretty darn fast. Ooh, it's dangerous. It's a cool challenge, but yeah, it's getting speedy. Okay. Both of those. Set away of that, and there we are. Thank you. Now we gotta start moving, and it's actually getting meaningfully fast now. That scares me. Yeah, that really speeds up. Finalize and leave. I don't think I will. I'm gonna keep going until I have to leave. I won't leave until you kick me out. Oh my goodness. Four more minutes of this? Okay. Well, it does seem like you're actually getting... The obstacles are getting farther away to compensate for the fact that things are faster now. Oh my goodness. You need some pretty good reaction time for that. Okay. Ooh. Now we can get them all in... Little uh, over three more minutes left. Okay. Hey, come on. I, oh, I, oh my goodness. I should have gone straight. I... Let me try that again. Still got gold. But what is that maximum score for six minutes? <sighs> I might not have the brain power for this right now, honestly. Yeah, it gets pretty fast near the end there. And to think that either it's either going to go for like that for three minutes and... Well, it... Maybe? But mind you, it's... You're not supposed to go for the full six minutes. You can, but... There's no reason to. I... I might need my emergency chocolate. It's been a while, and I actually forgot I had it, but... My emergency energy, 100% dark chocolate. Six minutes of pure survival. It's just, what is this, Osu? And... Yeah, my emergency energy dark chocolate. 100% dark chocolate. I've used it before, I just kind of forgot I had it. So I haven't used it in a while. Honestly, I think it gets... The obstacles get a lot wider spaced out when you get to higher speed. To compensate for the fact that you're moving faster. But... This is interesting. It... It's definitely the only reason they can make it this difficult is because it's a purely opposite... Purely optional challenge, but... Okay. Nice. Well, it, it depends on the chocolate. That Milk chocolate is candy. Dark chocolate is basically all cacao. Which 
means that it's got a huge number of flavanols and very little sugar, which makes it pretty good for energy. In fact, 100% dark chocolate has no sugar. Well, how dark? That... There are lots of levels of dark chocolate. You know, what I'm talking about right now is literally 100% dark chocolate with no sugar. No milk. None whatsoever. Okay. Hmm. Just locking in. Oh, wow. Huh. Except now we got our... Let's rush forward and hit him. Yeah, it's just... It's getting faster reaction time-wise, but... The obstacles are also spaced a lot farther out from each other, so... It's not actually as bad as you would think. It's gone. Main thing is just collecting all the flowers is becoming more difficult. When are we going to lose that buff? Okay. Thank you. Two, three, four. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, but... You would expect, in a lot of games, old, endless arcade games, there's a point where you actually can't continue. Either because it becomes literally humanly impossible, or the game just breaks. And I'm surprised that they actually do have a time limit here, instead of just actually putting in arcade-style humanly impossible, as in literally humanly impossible, or even impossible by tools by making it so that you have to move faster than the game actually lets you. That's another way to do things. <clears throat> but, or you can literally just, okay, survive until six minutes and go for that. Yeah, I... it's fun. I'm glad that they have this optional challenge in here. Let's see if I can maintain this level of gameplay for two more minutes. Okay. I'm counting the number of flower ticks to tell me when to move, actually. So it's kind of a rhythm game, but not really. Yeah, then we got the shield, so we just move physically. It seems like things have sped up at least a little. Okay. Thank you. And there we are. Now we can get them all. One and a half minutes. Exciting. Let's keep going. Well, not everything, just a lot of things. Most of the fun things. Well, it's not... It's not so much rhythm as counting. That... That weaving is tough. It really is. It also increases the forward AoE, which is really convenient, actually. means you can dodge out of the way earlier without having to worry. <sighs> Little over 30 more seconds. <sighs> It'd be really funny if it actually did just a loop when the time came. And it was actually endless, and pretty sure it isn't, though. It's just... If you keep going, you're a masochist and kind of insane. Which I am. Oh, it... Interesting. So there were still flowers, but since we didn't get hit once, I presume... That's maximum score. 100, 40, 440 seems pretty reasonable. The room spinning. Okay. 
just want to see what that max score is. What is an endless? <sighs> Rocking carriage. That. Yep, the maximum score is 100, 4,440. And you see a little more at the end, but that is the maximum score. The one thing I can think of is maybe the pot, hitting the pots even while in the wrong liberal, still slowing you down, but. I don't think that's the case. Either way, that... That is as much as I'm willing to force myself to do. Six minutes. Six... Six minutes. Okay. Next one is the puzzle one, Dharma Kirti. <sighs> Excuse me, Reed Traveler by Enchant, that's me, what can I do for you? A oh, good, good thing I didn't gather one person. Let me introduce myself, I'm Dharma Kirti, a doctor from Amorta. You've heard of you, of course, but in truth we don't know much about you. We've been doing research on dreamscapes lately, and the Dandra Arcot informed us that you're the most cool-headed person she's ever seen when distinguishing dreams from reality. Oh, she flatters me. Yeah, hey, don't be so modest. Anyway, that's precisely what her project is about, and her data indicates that people struggle to consciously wake up after falling asleep. We tend to utilize the psychological influence that dreams have on people to help regulate various psychological disorders. So if we will use targeted environmental hints and guidance based on each patient's individual situation to create a suitable dreamscape for them. I need a little bit of that emergency chocolate. Just a little. Kind of brained out. Only two more squares left. Technology and her shared dreamscapes is still rather new, and advancements are mainly thanks to many improvements made by the Dendro Orcon. So we put our goals to address patients' psychological problems. By adjusting their cognitive states within dreamscapes, it seems complicated. This is literally the plot of Inception. Also, AI of the Somnium Files. Alright, sorry I couldn't help rambling on about our project a bit. It's quite complicated, yes. So we put we're conducting medical research on the psychological effects of dreams that we've gotten a bit stuck. When it comes to practical implementation. So you need my help, how are we calculating my payment? Let's be nice. Got in one go? This is embarrassing. None of our project members have any experience maintaining awareness within a dreamscape. So that left us all feeling really depressed. Now that we know people like you exist, hope has been rekindled. I also have our Orkhan to thank for this. I should not heard a report and suggest, suggest that we discuss things with you. I'm afraid our project would have, be, would have had to be abandoned, never to be completed. I have faith that this psychotherapy is popularized, and we'll be able to significantly reduce the rate of mental disorders in the academia's annual statistics. So from what you said just before, I can assume it would help, sure thing. You could organize the patient files right away, come find me whenever you're free. Spend whole process works like this, you just need to relax and enter the dreamscape together with the patient, that's half the battle. And knowing is the other half of the battle. Next, we're inside the dreamscape, you just need to follow the instructions given in the file, find the anomalous aspects related to the patient in question, correct them, we have the dream, and that's that. we also prepared emergency measures, get you out of the dreamscape if needed, the safety of our volunteers and patients is far more important than the success of any experiment. Every patient is in unique circumstances and must be handled carefully. Well, them can find me whenever you're free, understood. Thanks for your generosity, see you later. During the inter-reflection of reality in Dreams game mode, you have to enter the unique dreamscapes of patients, find the anomalies in said dreams, and correct them to assist the patients for their mental well-being. Find specific items in their dreamscapes based on their descriptions. There's a special skill, catch and correct on them to deal with the corresponding anomalies, so it's basically find an object. Speak to the patients through their dreamscapes to learn what ails them in more detail. At the same time, if you do not find any anomalies, within a certain time, the patients will give you subconscious hints. For assistance, this clinical trial is a great importance, so let me know once you're ready. I'm not quite ready yet. Where is won't we start once you're good to go? Once you wait. Is that spirit borneal? The funny incense? 
As both you and the patient have woken from the dream, will continue to follow up with the patient over the long term. If therapy produces good results, you should be able to detect long-lasting positive effects. Trained martial orders like me afraid of ghosts over shame. Never been this right of doing guard work in my life. It's not like I want to tremble like this, but my legs just won't listen. Please, Lord of Geo, save me, please. Calling Lord. Gonna drink myself to death someday like this. I'll forget if I die, I die. I'll drink to that. If I die, I die. Sober up, not gonna happen. Drinking too much may hurt my liver, but drinking too little wounds my heart. That's a toughie, but not drinking just ain't an option. Piyush. P. What about Prupyush? This obsessive compulsive disorder is incurable in its late stages. Everything must be arranged in some order. That's just one of my principles of design. All inhuman asymmetrical architectural designs must be destroyed, destroyed with prejudice. These are all the patients. Higuchi Tetsuya, I can't finish running this, there's no way I can, no matter what I do. Might as well just take two years off. Must do whatever it takes to finish Tales of 100 Yokai. I promise my readers I would, on my dignity as a Yokai novel writer, no less. I've told tales about Tango and I've talked to Bake Danuki. How the heck will I get to 100 different types of Yokai I were to need and fresh ones and new ones? Nitash. <laughs> And people these days so careless with their experiments. Come on, is maintaining a clean lab the most basic of the basics really so hard? This lab's so messy, if I had an assistant to help me sign. It's not like I'm getting any younger. Should I just retire back to Samaritan two years or something? I mean, I can't stay here, can I? Let's do this. I'm ready. Tipsy topsy turvy. Where I look at this tavern, this range where it seems there are oaks like the tape chairs and ornaments are a bit different from normal, like they're upside down. Longwood, who struggles to stop drinking liquor, is often troubled by strange dreams in which many common items are upside down. Find the upside down items and write them, and perhaps it will improve. Correct anomalies. <sighs> hey there, are you the one who's assisting with the dreamscape therapy? To be honest, I don't know what my dream is going to be about. I'm on set, I don't really have any hobbies, you know, except drinking. I'm the type of mess up sometimes when I get sloshed, so I'm counting on you. To reflect on reality and dreams, fun and collect it. Correct the anomalies in the dream. Is that not it? There's the head. Things that are upside down. The inverted items. Chair. And... Another head. Oh, that's much easier on the eyes, but there's still a few that are upside down. Yep, that's uncomfortable. Sure, here. And... Hmm. Another chair. Something. One more. What's left? Keep looking around. Might be high up. I... Don't want... There, right there. Don't want after all. And... It's more like it sure was a mess, but at least it's better now, huh? What would the angel share be without me? Begotten demons, Yoglong, a guard for hire, often feels that their monsters working the objects around cannot rest easy. When the strange floating objects and perhaps subconscious anxiety and fear will be put to rest. Or demons, great divine beings, and honored and baptized, please show us with your mercy. Do not hide in objects floating to and fro. Please show yourself before I die of front. Things that are floating. If you have to go, you gotta go. Don't worry about it. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. We're about to enter a dream safe together, I believe. Wuong Hill. You are going to guard from Wuong. I touched something unclean while at work recently. I haven't had a good night's sleep since. That's why I sought help. If I can dispel my nightmares through this dreamscape therapy, that would truly be amazing. And the floating items. Correct the anomalies in the dream. Statue. Demons. Okay. Don't hide an object. Saw that already. Eight of them. And see one over there. This is kind of like Lynch Race, and the skill he uses is very similar as well. Right. And there's one in there. Nice. Number of demons hiding is plummeted. However, I can still feel a sinister presence. There must be still be a few hiding somewhere. They've yet to show themselves. So I guess more show up after the first go around. That makes some sense. There. And. Let's see. Keep checking around. 
Where are they floating? Any up there, or... Got another vantage point. We got a barrier, just like Windtrace, too. Hmm. Let's see. Be over that way, closer to the entrance. And... Do not want to have to get help. Do this all by myself, but oh, there. Oh, one was being shown. We have to try this again. Okay. I'm not going to get help with this. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Don't want help. Okay. It does seem like some. No, that one was always there. It's not that more show up. Okay. I think, at least. I was gonna say that they seem somewhat randomized, but no, not really. Okay. Around here, maybe. Yep, behind that stump. One in that house. Okay. There's one more somewhere, then. Try to get to a vantage point, then. Or not. Oh, come on. Where is the final one? Can I use elemental sight to find it? I... Guess not. Huh. Take a look. Gonna be down here, or... What? I... Huh? Wait. That one was floating too? Whatever. I'm gonna try that again, because it seems like this must be a blessing for some illuminated being. Thank you all for having mercy on this uncle regard, such as myself, but we'll be leaving for my next job now. I don't think that one was always there, was it? They're definitely moving around. Okay. Well, not moving around, but spawning in and out. Yeah. Okay. Matter of knowing locations of each. Okay. Yep, that one's in there already, but... Aw. In there. I guess... Some of them are just annoying to find. Okay, and... That one was not always there. So they are semi-randomized, I think. Okay. Hidden dangerous materials. Where are we? Inazuma yokai hiding. Coming out, sure faces. Oh, kids with masks. My noble author, Higuchi Tetsuo, is looking for inspiration. He hopes to meet yokai face to face and get a look at them. Find yokai wearing an unusual mask. Maybe not the satisfy of subconscious desire. <clears throat> Again, they're just basically hidden object puzzles. Oh, well. We're in... Honda Village. Nice to meet you, Hiji Tetsu is the name, and you're a kind novel writer from Inazuma. I've been under lots of pressure lately, so I'll try anything, do whatever it takes to get back on my feet. By the way, my dream state might have a rather personalized look, considering that's a word of my making. All the issues that entails, apologies in advance for any strange things that you might see. The unusual monsters. I see a guy with a mask right over there already. Where are our Inazuma Yoka hiding? Come on out, show your faces. Hi. Another one right here. Got to inspect all the groups of people. I see one over there. Not there. Right here. It is nice that you can see them pretty easily from a distance this way. Nobody there, but there is someone that way. And skill whiffed? That'd be a closer how the Oka had in the corners of map. But this is this really all of them. Feels like there must be still a few in hiding. Okay, some people speculate that most Inazumans are actually yokai, given the fact that that Inazuman humans are descended from yokai, given the fact that a lot of them are, well, for, given that yokai are distinguished basically by being people with masks on their faces, does seem like more have come out. Where would any other spots be, and... Yep, someone behind there. Yep, seems that more show up after the first little bit. 
Found them. I've got them that quick. Give me a pen. It's time to write. Settled, stable, and safe. Oh, Fontaine. This is Samara. So no, not one yet. Why never? Each piece of lab equipment is more disobedient than the last. I don't care how much energy you have. Stop messing around and behave yourselves. The energy. Moving, probably? The dreams of the researcher Nita. She's a lab equipment. Tends to move around on its own, disrupting all of its plans. Finding the most mischievous of its instruments. Quiet the troubles in his mind. Hmm. Hi. Also, oh, the qualified volunteer for the Dreamscape experience is one so young. Modern young people, impressive nowadays. Nitesh, I'm the traveling spot about scholar, presently working long term in Fontaine. Yep, Fontaine. The older folks tend to come by all manners of problems more easily. I'm counting you to help me get to the heart of things, youngster. Can float around quietly. Never. Okay, same as before. Okay, moved off to other directions. This isn't too bad at all. Yeah. Some, yes, 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 it's far neater, but were there, there were a few more pieces of unruly equipment, were there not? We must sort them all. I gotta see which and where. See you floating. You're not perpetually moving. It's just in this one room. Okay. Take a look. I see something moving. Hmm. Do not want you to show me anything, please. This. Imagine one of them is. Maybe. Oh, come on. Okay, well. Wait, are the Fanta machine or? By the way, I gotta try again. It's also ones that are oddly placed, and there are books right there that I couldn't see because they were in the dark. Well, that's fun. I was spick and span, and everything is in place all nice and tiny. I feel good just looking at it. I do want to get that with. Out getting a hint. Okay. Try that one more time. And main thing is, there's only one over there. And actually, catch them as they're moving around. Is that multiple? No. Keep track of the locations where they went. It's useful. One of them. Last one is going to be a stool near the middle. So yeah, this was about paying attention to where they all initially went. It's a bit more memory then. Okay. The architect 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 Peach's extremely exact replies for symmetrical aesthetics have grown into a deep source of anxiety, heavily influencing his subconscious. <clears throat> on the objects in the dreamscape that don't match the principles of symmetry and help ease his anxiety. Can't take it anymore. Why didn't you follow the design? Street lamps, four lamps, chairs, nothing here even spares the slightest inkling of thought for symmetry. This should be fun. Piyush? Piyush! Sir, the fond friend that Dharma Kirti's introduced. Piyush, pleased to meet you. I work in architecture, right? Kasharwar. I've heard Kava met your name before, but I haven't had the chance to. Zero to Piyush, pure Kava Kava? It's probably not. Say hello yet, so this is a happy coincidence. Guessing I'll dream about a project that was submitted. It was an absolute nightmare. It's just a shame we have to first meet in such a formal fashion. Oh well. These symmetric objects. See a lamp right there. Everything must be arranged in some order. That's just one of my principles of design. While well, inhuman asymmetrical architectural designs must be destroyed, destroy the prejudice. That's one of them. Hmm. Any of the orbs around here? No. Another. Most of them are just. Four lamps, it seems. And they already showed a bench in the preview. Cool. This one, the whole space looks far more harmonious now. A few more adjustments and it will finally be perfect. Another stray bench. Okay. Probably up top. Then. 
try to make sure I do not... Oh, that's over there. Some more have probably shown up. Other spots or not. Can't get up top here, which surprises me. Oh, lamps as well. Lamps that are off center. Okay. Yeah. Or just any of them, really. I don't think any of these belong. Yeah. None of those street lamps are supposed to be here in the first place. Symmetry of divinity and harmony. Yes, yes, this represents the symmetry of divinity and harmony. Such a wonder symmetry. The construction is perfect. I can finally rest easy. Try that one more time now that we know what to look for. And that going up is pointless. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's all the same. This one is not randomized at all, it seems. At least not significantly. Okay. Or at least it seems that randomization is just... No, no, that was always there. Some across. It'd be funny to drown in here. Okay. Another... Excellent, the whole space looks for four more harmonies. Now a few more adjustments and it'll finally be perfect. And the only thing left are those two benches. Yeah. And none of those lamps are supposed to be here. Alright. wonder if they'll new dialogue now that we've cured them all. Hopefully. Cool. I... Okay. Alright. There we are. That's all. Mm. Mm. Some to say, you're wrong. Okay, they don't have anything new to say. Even if we did heal them. Okay. Now we have the combat one. Hello. Though the overall performance is close to perfection, there's still room for improvement. <clears throat> I must work harder, harder, even harder. The Valor, the Knight of Flowers, must be recreated. The Color, Knight of Candies. Is he the guy from the quest? I think he is, from the Archon quest. The color intensity of the lighting are perfectly calibrated, and the special effects are simply spectacular. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to name this Effection Perfection. Not effect ion. Using Sophie, it's all thanks to you that we were able to see the Knight of Flowers in all his glory, just like in the legends. That's Vagumana history, I think. Oh, Pish Posh, I can't take all the credit myself, though, can I? Just think of all the work he did. It's far more exhausted than the papers I've pushed around. The most important thing now is the candidate we choose to play the Knight of Flowers and perform this. Possess extraordinary skill with an aura that can pair with the legendary Pharos himself. Hmm, those requirements do seem to be a bit steep, don't they? Hey, that's what you're talking about. Seems like I got a problem. Why need special effects or are you guys worried about putting on a show? They appear the one and only, the illustrious hero without equal, the student candidate of Blade the Knight of Flowers. Now what I should say is that you yourself will use over the title of Knight of Flowers and that's just attached. This is one excited skull where you realize it went up the second Sonic Traveler, my that's a bit little much. Music my ears keep the comments coming word you. And it's an honor to see once more, Mr. Traveler. There's a full course from Varimana Safi at Varimana. He's been taking advantage of some serious festival fever to plan a film based on various historical documents in folklore. folk war. It's in the latest spontaneous technology. The film focuses on the unknown battles of the Knight of Flowers. It revolves around how the Knight descended in serious and profoundly perilous places, on the Dendro Orchon's behalf, still many evils. So, right there, Palm would guess where this is going. You don't have any actors who can fight, so you can't shoot the fight scenes. Strictly speaking, while they're acting, regular scenes or fight scenes, there is no performer more suitable than the Traveler. Should it be willing to perform, this film will surely become the single greatest cinematographic work. Cinematographic work regarding the Knight of Flowers, and it will earn substantial revenue from its theater run. I'm sure both of you will be adequately compensated. With the Traveler's Oak, there should be a star. Since Subzero's Festival is kind of vacation for us, we weren't that busy. We should have time to help shoot a few scenes. We think Traveler, I'm no actor, and I'm the best kicking butt. But scenes are really easy, I can give the other scenes a shot too. That you're willing to join our project, this is really amazing. Words can't express how grateful we are to you. However, the fight scenes are filmed independently from the rest, and we'll need to schedule those separately. So, ready, we'll have to call you back in again. Time waits for no one. If you're ready, Mr. Traveler, shall we begin immediately? Ready, it's acting time for the Traveler's feature as a movie starting for the Night of Fires for Rogue Legend. 
Cool. During Shadow of the Night's Play, defeat as many enemies as possible in a time limit to obtain the highest possible score. Claim the rewards corresponding to the highest score obtained in this stage. Defeat opponents, use specific showstopper moves to accumulate scenic performance. Scan a certain amount of scenic performance, increase your performance level, draining more powerful buffs. Hmm, VR. Honorable Knight of Farmers, is there any way it might be of service? We need to do for each fight scene to follow the basic theme of each scene. As for the actual moves, will be undertaken by professionals such as yourself. You didn't follow our original ideas and met before Vihar. You have to enter Archon. Archon Quest, I'm truly honored that you still remember me. Subzero's Vessel has passed. I've played a character list, not a Fires a few times. Basically, handing out candies of the children is Ferris. Now, there's an eminently more suitable Night of Fires, so I can play the role for which I'm naturally suited than the Night of Candies. I think it works out quite well. Kids really like the title and the image of you passing out candy year after year has made a deep impression on everyone. Then after the movie premieres, can I get a title like the Night of Cinema or something? Be credited as the director and as the producer. It'll be harder to say which of us will be the Night of Cinema. How about the Day of Cinema? How about the filming progress? As you can see, we've only just begun. This is the thematic focus of the film. This battle. We decided to film those scenes first and then based on what we can realistically achieve, decide on how we should express ourselves. With the shots, lemon color palette, styles, and other elements, then we use these to determine the details of the script so that we can avoid that can't be done, we can't make the shot work as much as possible. That's why we wait for the fight scenes to be filmed, edited, and post process before we film the rest. It will likely take quite some time, that's a clever approach. Not all, it's just a trick that went during my last study trip to Fontaine. We still have a lot of room for improvement. Ugh. And, and. Now that's a very conservative approach. Now it's just a trick I won't my. Okay. Same dialogue as before. And see you next time then. Take care, please remember to take some time to finish filming some fight scenes. We simply cannot thank you enough. We can get a couple of levels from the event right there. Be gone demons and the rocking carriage. 3,000 points. Well, we got more than four times as much. Okay. 40 now. Can do one roll on standard now. We let's get kindling. Okay. Let's do one roll on standard then. That will give me how much that would be. 64 on standard. A little bit closer to stop pity again. Nice. Come on. And Nothing this time. I really do wonder what I'll get from standard this time. Once I hit it. Be cool to get Primordial Jade Wing, Jade Wing Spear of Rajao, and then I'll be happy to shoot some more. Huh? Please feel free to show off your incredible talent to its fullest. The camera set around the venue will capture majestic valley and form. Our set designed towards inspiration for the dangerous domains and adventure legends. Who knows, it might even inspire you in combat. Swordsmanship, simple and solid. Legend says, the Knight of Flowers drill the basics every day, familiarizing himself with the properties of every element of one own simple techniques of perfection, and the enemy can be dealt with no matter how tricky. Vaporize a reaction on opponents that will gain additional scenic performance with which to increase performance level. This can be triggered once every one second. Performance level is 1, 2, 3. Respectively, all party members' max HP increases by 20%, 50%, 100% elemental mastery by... 60%, 150%, and 300%. Additionally, for performance level is 3 whenever your character triggers Vaporize against an opponent in which a Night Wave at the character's position that deals true damage to nearby opponents. One Night Wave can be produced in this way every 4 seconds, and I guess put Fav on Zhang Ling and try to make that work. Fav Lance. Crit is not that good without having a crit weapon, which is sad. Let's try this though. No any team there. And do I have... Let me just see. Fragments on Sucrose. Either way, we'll go with the suggested Milani team. Okay, Sucrose, and sure we'll go with the recommended jungling, even if Dio might be a bit better, at least for single target, but this is not a single target situation. Okay, and let me just see. If you do have sack rags, that's good. Alright, cool. Thank you, and 
Spruel. Thank you, I. Nice, we got that going. And. Fight. And. I. Okay. Cool, I guess. Interesting. It's an idea. It's Blastia. And. Oh my goodness, that's rather nice. And. Okay, now we. Supras, thank you. Got a lot of particles, that really does help. Okay, and. How many can we get going? That's one, and. Hmm, there are some issues with this. Okay, in particular, that. Oh my goodness. Good damage. And one, two, and. Swirl, thank you. Nice. One, two, and. Now we. Well, alright. One, two, three. Right, and. Oh my goodness. And that. Causes some problems. Okay, and. Okay, and. One, two. Can I get that over there? And super is this. Sure. Okay, and. That hit. Pretty well, too. Okay. Hmm. We aren't getting that back anytime soon, though. I. Alright. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And. Vaporize again, I guess. That kind of works. And two, and cannot. All right, that had its limitations. This. Oh, but I. I didn't take the difficulty up, did I? Yeah, I didn't boost the difficulty, so things are dying too quickly. Oops. Okay, that's the problem there. Okay. Yeah. Right, glorious and. High score of 500,000 is where things max out. Okay. Let's try that again. We were legitimately killing things too fast. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you, and it wasn't horrible, horrible, but the damage was surprisingly high. Okay, and now we'll get you again and get this. Nice. There we are, and there again. Cool. It takes you out. Next is you. One, two, and luckily we're getting particles back pretty well, actually. It's not that bad. And all right, who's next? You're next. Okay. Hmm. All right. And let's go for one more. And I. All right. Hmm. There are some problems with that. Thank you, and... Thanks. Alright. Missed that pretty badly, and... Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is its limits, but we can at least get most of this maxed out, I imagine. And... Cool. Nice. I... Uh, cool. Thanks. Alright, then. One, two, and... Whoop. Well, that I guess. Cool. Thank you. I. It hurts a lot when that doesn't hit. Right. And cool. Thank you. This should do it. Thanks. Right. And one, two. And scroll that. And we got that back. That time at least. Thank you. And. Right, get a Milani in there, and now we got you. Thank you, and that's all. Well, we tried. Okay. Thank you, and. Alright. We got one of you down. It's gold. Just wanna see. Dramatic Ode. I wanna check the other minigames real quick. Shadow of the Knight's Blade. And is there a platinum? They don't have a platinum. There is no platinum. We don't have to worry. Okay. Will tough as rock. Technique is not the only critical skill, so too is a fighting will. Who's will? In many stories, a knight of farmer stands alone against mass hordes of foes, yet maintains a perfectly impenetrable defense, holding out with determination until victory is achieved. Characters use elemental skills that will gain additional scenic performance with which to increase performance level. This can be triggered once every. 0.3 seconds, performance assistance, when your performance level is 1, 2, 3 respectively, all party members' defense increases by 40%, 100%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 200%, 
Traditionally for performance level is 3 when your character uses an elemental skill in which a night wave at the character position. That deals true damage to nearby opponents when night wave can be produced. So every 3 seconds. I... That's more than good. So I'll bait along with Archiori and we'll use their Ito maybe. The shield could maybe be good, but... I wonder. So we can't exactly switch everyone out. Let's make sure Chiori has Wolf Fang, Goro's got. Yeah, take that Wolf Fang. Make sure Goro's got the R5 Fav Bow. The R5 Five Bow. Okay, yep, right one. Then Albedo always has Cinnabar. This should be good. It's into full into damage. Okay. Let's go for it. And that Ito with our Goro, then Goro, Albedo, Chiori. And then their trial Ito. Sure. Cool. Let's do this. Wait a few seconds for everyone to get their hus stacks up. As I imagine that you've got husk. Yep, and R1 white blind. It's actually offensive to my sensibilities. Okay. Come on. Come on. This should be... Good. Okay. Cool. And... Alright, right there. And... Not quite. And... Right over there, and... Cool. And I, oh, you are not in the right position, though. I, how can you hit me so much? I hate that. And two, three, four, five. Okay, well, whatever. It's just... Albedo is not in a good position for pretty much anything here. That's really annoying. Okay, and... Cool. Two, three, four. And that's pretty good. And I... Still don't know exactly how to make Ito work. Okay, cool. Well, we can... As long as we get normal maximum, we're fine. Okay. And... Good damage. And... Thank you, and... Thanks. Once we get all that in, we can... Thank you. One, two, hit, and once we get... All of those in, we even get a funny little icon, that's fun. E, little icon, and there we are, thank you, cool, and toss and hit nobody actually, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, and that, oh, damage and lack of energy is rather unfortunate, and cool, I, never mind, alright, thanks. You can definitely get this all kind of working, but uh, it is rather unfortunate that you don't have a good Ito stuff going on. You did get the score, but probably wouldn't have better with me well even. The positioning is not ideal. Okay. Alright. Next stage. Tension beautiful, the burst scene. You must master the tenacity of the wild grass that grows in the vines that climb, as well as the strength and stability of stone with both pliability and power. Some works when faced with powerful, adaptable foes, the Knight of Flowers will make use of flexible and magnificent strategies. Crack their defenses open before delivering a formidable dead on blow. <clears throat> oh, and yep. Shuan and Navi, a beneficial team. That's simple. I am happy with this outcome. Shuan and Navi. And our Bennett, Benny boy, should stop removed when Crackers true eyes to trigger. 
Trigalize. The crystallized reaction on opponents that will gain additional scenic performance with increased performance level. This can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds. Performance assistance for the performance levels 1, 2, 3, respectively. Party members gain 40%, 80%, 160% geo damage bonus. Additionally, for performance levels 3, character triggers crystallize against an opponent, which is not wave at the character's position. It deals true damage to nearby opponents. When not wave, can be produced in this way every 4 seconds. Okay. Alright then. Hmm. -mm. Shangui might have been better than Albedo there, honestly. It's not impossible. Oh, but Shiwanen can crystallize that. Nice. And... Oh, we should have waited for the spawn sacks to come up. That's... Okay. That's alright, I guess. And... One, two... Three... One, two... And shoot. One, two... Three... One, two... And... We... One, two... And... First that, because why not? And then it and get you down. And here we are. Shoot. And you're all the way over there. I hate that. One, two, three, one, and shoot. One, two, three, one, two. Uh, Alright. Well, we got that there. One, two. And nice. Thank you. And that and you're over there. I don't like that. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, shoot. And up. One, two. Okay. All right, and Russian crystallize. Hit that level. That's good. But circle impact is honestly kind of a deal breaker here for reasons that are. Plain to see. Can't actually circle them. And I, you're over there now. Okay. Cool. One, two. And Navi again. Thank you. One, two. Hit and we shoot. And that got everyone. Now we got funny golems. Okay. Shoot. And one, two. We got that already. That's good. Okay, and... Oh, we got Electro on them already. That's fine. And that actually did damage. Well, not bad. Huh. Actually a bit tougher than I expected. Just to get the gold. Clash and Blazing is a bonfire. The combination of greener and the light of flames often strongly reminds people of incredibly strong vitality. So, uh, burning, probably. In many fairy tales, such descriptions are used to describe the passion of the Knight of Flowers in pursuing his enemies and through their will for usage of power in battle. Such so burning passion manifests it to its fullest. Ah, uh, Burning and Otoma. I want to use Toma here. Okay. Showstopper move when characters use elemental skills that will gain additional scenic performance with increased performance level. This can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds. Good for Kine. Choose his skills. When assistance, when your performance level is 1, 2, 3, respectively, after characters trigger Burning or Merging against an opponent, all party members' elemental skill damage is increased by 30%, 75%, 150% for 5 seconds. If you triggers are set in the duration, additionally, for points, level is 3. When a character uses an elemental skill, should not wave at the character's position. It deals true damage to nearby opponents. When night wave can be bruised in this way every 3 seconds. Okay. He's Artoma, I guess. Still, he's built for burgeon rather than shielding, but eh, whatever. The way this should work would be... Probably MOE... Toma, Bennett, then Kinich. Sure. I'm sure this won't be too much trouble anyway. It's gonna stay in the fire. Okay. And here we are. Just one of them. Oh, very single target. Okay, and. Get that. One, two, and. Roll. One, two, and shoot. Nice. And we'll shoot again, and. Where are you? And shoot. I. And shoot, there we are, nice, very good. That's down there, and we're killing things fast enough to get everything back, which is real nice. And then it back, thank you, and one, two, and shoot, thanks, and right there, and okay, interesting. I was not expecting that to be as tough as it was, and uh, oh, we missed that just barely. Luckily, again, we're killing fast enough to get all of these verse back very, very handily. And another hit. And just like that. I, oh my goodness, that was actually really bad. Come on. And now we can get that going at least. But I 
Okay, cool. And another one. Shoot, shoot, and kill. Okay, and Emily is. You got that back up. Good. You got that back up too. And there we are. One, two. And this is easily the most reasonable. Okay. And alright. And shoot. And next is you. And done. There we are. We got one. We got done again. This is by far the simplest to do. Probably because they didn't expect it to be as. expected you to do worse. So you need such a specific team to make it work. And roll. Thank you. And roll. Yeah. 8,000, not bad. Can't do much more. Oh, that's it. Nice. Passion blazing is a bonfire. Swift shadow spotted as flowers. Just as flowers bloom across the lands. Land and fairy tales and other flowers. Traverses all of Samira, swift to cleansing the land of full monsters and the wicked inspired by such tales. And the enchant resolves to follow in the knight's footsteps. Showstopper move when characters use elemental bursts that will gain additional scenic performance, which can increase performance level. It's going to be triggered once every 0.5 seconds. It's assistance when the performance levels 1, 2, 3, respectively. All party members' energy recharge increases by 10%, 30%, 60%, and elemental burst damage by 20%, 50%, 100%. Additionally, your performance level is 3 when your character uses an elemental burst and reach a night wave of the character's position that deals true damage to nearby opponents. The night wave can be produced in swing every 0.5 seconds. So clearly... That's Raiden National with Kaza probably in place of Bennett. Well, Shio and it in place of Kaza in place of Bennett. That means giving Zhongling the Trident Melt of the Fjords. Let's do this. These have been fun. Especially since a lot of them are encouraging you to use Shio and this one. This one, and arguably this one if you have cottons, but definitely this one. Keen H and then this old Mono Geo. Mono Geo is, Mono Geo is pretty fun at times. I can appreciate Mono Geo. Mono a Mono Geo. Oh, but that will burst. Easiest one to boost is, of course, Raiden's Electro. That's alright. And given the shred, that might actually pull ahead a bit. I'm wondering if old Raiden Mono Electro with Raiden Hyper Carry might actually prefer Shion and Kazuno. Or at least maybe Shion and Bennett. Because you have a lot of attack, I suppose, already. You don't have to worry about swirling Pyro anymore, and also you. Means Kaza can stand longer because you can put him after. Pyro. And also, you don't have to worry about Circle Impact. Mm -mm. Right in. Then we use Shuan in, and then. Xing Chao and Zhongling. Yeah. Xiongling Chao. Probably. That would also make it a bit more possible to maybe vaporize. I mean, crystallize pyro with Shunin? Maybe. Shinchou does a fab sword on him right now, which is not bad. Probably the slightly better option. Oh, hello there. Okay. Two and. There we are. Thanks. And there we go. And get that. And now we can take you down and thank you. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, and one, two. Thank you. Nice. And there we go. Cool. And two. Crystallize. Yep, we crystallized Pyro that time, which was nice. And just like that, we can hit the right enemies or not. Not even sure I hit them. Three, hit, and one, two, three. Hit, and one, two, three. Hit, or not. I, okay. Cool, and... Thank you. Cool. Alright, I... That works. Thank you. And just like that, we are doing pretty well for ourselves. And just... 
It's been a while since I got to use Rotten National for something. So it's pretty nice to be able to do it. Cool. And now I can... Two. Crystal has something. And now you're over here. Thanks. And... Pretty good at getting that energy back now. Nice. One, two, three. Hit. One, two, three. And... One, two, three. Cool. Okay. Nice. Move in. Two. Crystallize that, and it's just so good with riding. Okay. And put that down, and... Sword draw! Yeah, all those shreds going on coexisting just makes it seem so much better. But we moved you in the wrong direction. Okay. Thanks, and... Kill or not. Still, that was rather handedly a gold, even if... The best one was actually Kinich's... That one went by far the best. So I suppose all there is to do now is do the actual event. Cool. Which 2,000 points in the stage passed in Poisoning is a Bonfire and Shadow of the Night's Blade, the Chromatic Odor Candies and Roses event. 42. And... Lots and lots of artifact juices. Very, very fun. It is interesting that generally the paint is three times the reward. This is a little less, actually, because the big juice is four times the amount, so this equates to 20 of these, as opposed to 20, 21. I guess they prefer to condense them, and actually giving a little less conversion-wise makes a bit of sense, considering how useful... How useful... Artifact juices are in comparison. Change reward? Well, unclaimed rewards will be changed. Yeah, artifact juices are a lot more useful than weapon experience crystals. Don't really level any weapons anymore. For better or worse. Yeah, it's time to just actually do the shopping. Okay. Fun minigames. Navigate over to shopping place. I let's glide over. Can make that just barely. Cool. Ah, oh, they did an aerial path. And it's daytime again. Oh, there's all kinds of delicious scents in the air today. The sea breeze in Port Ormos isn't even enough to cover them up. This is the final stop of the carriage parade. So many of the vendors decide to set their stalls in advance. The city is much more lively than usual. Send us for Armour Village. Everyone's doing their part to make this a truly unforgettable Subzeris festival. Yeah, well, with all these vendors, there's nowhere going back to empty hand. Just leave the haggling to us. Right, then what's... Uh, uh? Getting a headache from what? Interference? What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah? <laughs> No, nothing wrong. Da da da. She's confused. That guy's suspicious. Sorry for making a worry. Let's go to that store and place an order. Asoko no mise, store over there. Jahangir for shop owner. Yeah, normal NPC. Welcome. What can I get for you today? I'd like to place an order for the Subzeris Festival. Could you have them ready for pickup after the parade? No problem at all, what it will be. Take three orders each of masala cheese balls, potato bones, and curry shrimp, and ten orders of pani puri. One sec, let me draw that down. Potato boats, pani puri. Right, well, that ready is scheduled. That's a very sizable, fairly sizable order. Does that mean we can expect a discount? Of course, let me see, that should come to 21,000 mora, but you can have it for 26,000, how's that sound? About 20,000, huh? Haggling, well, she really went for it. Well, that's a bit tricky, we're going to be very busy that day, we're sending out all these ingredients for your order. We've had five orders of samosas, but that help lower the price. In that case, the most I can offer is 20% off. Hey, we'll take it, thank you so much. Of course, of course, tonemonai. Nothing out of the usual, thank you for your order. So it turns out Kansas is way better at haggling than us is more or less a local. Oh, and one more thing. Something you want to add to your order, miss? No, I just wanted to remind you to keep an eye on the fire you've got going there. If you want to burn too long, it'd become a safety hazard. No, thanks for your concern, but I request a charcoal order today, so it should be. 
Oh, sun's going wrong. Soon we'll know it's bang. Got her hydro shield up. Oh, cough, there's so much smoke. Oh, cough. Oh? Are you okay? Are you alright? Yeah, are you okay? I'm fine, thanks. It's just that was so strange. Was it the wind generator? Oh, if it's certainly possible, I had a similar problem not too long ago. I thought switching to this one would fix the issue, but... We're all fan, more or less. We can look into the true cause of the problem, but a bit later, what matters now is that you're alright. You need water, I've got some on me. Alright, seems like you've got a good eye, miss. Just wish your warning came a bit earlier. Probably could have avoided this scenario entirely. In the case, I'll definitely fix the stove today, so don't worry about any delays. Take your time, your health and safety are more important. I'll just leave the deposit here. Sounds good, see you soon. Hmm... Investigation? That was a close call. Good thing you're faster than a few, Candace. How did you know something was wrong with the stove? Magic eyes? Well, I guess you could call it a gut feeling. It's hard to describe. Well, where should we go next? Preferably somewhere without any fire hazards. Mom is still a little traumatized about what happened. Let's go buy some fruit. We need it to make the candy. Sounds good. If there's no loss, since we have the chance to shop at Fort Ormos, maybe we can pick up some other things along the way. Keep shopping. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see, the fruit stand should be that way. Uh, still getting some kind of interference. Candace, are you okay? Kid suspicious? Or, oh, she's getting sort of... Predi Watch out. Gonna fall. She's getting premonitions. Huh? Hatis. She's not wearing a hat, though. Are you okay, little one? I'm fine, thank you, miss. What happened? She, I'm sure. That crate came out of nowhere. Welcome to Candace. Say that little girl before she got hit. Were your parents' child? They were at the tavern by the harbor, but I got bored, so I came out to play. You're safe now, little one. Just be careful next time. Go back to your parents now, child. Okay. Hmm. Whose crates are these? Maybe they're mine could be. So is it Nihira basically beaming thoughts into her head or her own predictive ability? I did not know Candace have any kind of precognition. You're mine? Many times have I told me not to leave heavy objects by the road when are you going to learn? Sorry, it's just we ran out of storage for a way to ship me. And? Nothing, I'll take care of it right away. I won't do it again. Sigh. Thank you, everyone. I should have been keeping a closer eye on everything. Lucky you're here, Miss Candace. I really don't know how things would have turned out otherwise. Candace or something. There was nothing. Don't blame yourself, Sheriff. You understand just how difficult it is to look after a whole region. So with the festival coming, we need your vigilance more than ever. It always feels like I could use an extra pair of eyes during sub-zero season. I appreciate the reminder, Miss Candace. No, you're probably in the middle of something, so I'll leave you to it. Enjoy the festival. <clears throat> that was some quick thinking, Candace. It was like you leapt into action before the crate even started to fall. We knew it was going to happen all along. Da da da. Hmm. Actually, I, I did see something. I saw the great fall before it happened. Ah, yep, precognition. Well, you mean you saw the future. Yes, something similar happened with a stove. I saw it was about to happen. The Eye of Prophecy, it's actually real. I don't think it's right in my amber eye. Growing up, it's never shown me any kind of strange phenomena. But ever since this morning, I've been seeing things that don't match with reality, and after a few seconds, they actually come to pass. Have you told anyone else about this? Shulk. Not yet. I still haven't determined if this is the true power of prophecy, and I don't want to make everyone worry. But why did it come out so suddenly? Did something happen this morning? Nothing out of the ordinary, really. I prayed to the gods, met my plan for the day, and then went to meet my friends. Although I've had to think of something, I did buy this gem along the way. Kirei no Hoseki, this pretty gem. Emerald of some sort. Well, it's beautiful. There's something about it. So you sense it too. This gem seems to contain traces, contain traces of unusual elemental energy. And we bought it because it piqued my interest. Could the gem be the source of the visions? It's certainly possible. You're trying for yourself. Maybe you'll see something as well. And... Guess not. Da da da. I don't think anything happened. 
Hmm, so it doesn't work for just anyone. Perhaps there's some kind of trigger condition or could be because of my connection toward Old Amar. Maybe you could ask the others. Everyone's been so busy preparing for the festival, I don't really want to trouble them with something so trivial. Luckily, I don't have too many responsibilities over the next few days, so I can investigate on my own. It's part of my duty as a guardian. I can help too. And better, having your company is like sitting around a bonfire with trust companions or presents with people at ease. Well, let's finish our shopping first, then we can investigate in the gem and the very least, which has around in merchant circles for information on its origins. Speaking of merchants, one can think of someone who's always in the know, although getting information out of her is definitely going to cost us. Ah, Demon Dora, I've heard people talk about her in Aru Village before. That's the one, but as she's pretty touchy when it comes to more, so it's best not to haggle too much. Purchase the fruits on the shopping list. <clears throat> the vendors tell me where to find Dory. Look for Dory. Right all the way over there. See if we can get a little shortcut. Cool. That takes us nice and high. See over here and there she is. Hi. Here are the goods you asked for as promised, all the best quality, I assure you. Can I interest you in any of my newest offerings before you go? No, I'll see you around then. The Japanese voice acting is so annoying in a good way. Dory? Oh, if it isn't two of my most customers, I miss Candace. Now this is getting interesting. The guardian of Aru, Candace. Yeah. This is interesting, interesting customer. What brings the guardian of our village to my neck of the woods, typo. All my business in the desert was strictly above board, I assure you. Yeah, she speaks in a very sort of disingenuously polite manner in the Japanese. You must understand the story, we're just here for some information. Oh, you're in the market for some intel. We've come to the right place. So I'm dealing information. It's easy to carry and even easier to hike up the price, um, which is always very reasonable, of course. Oh, goodness. Yeah, she always goes on for much, much longer than the Japanese. But a rather peculiar gem this morning out of the name of the merchant who sold it to me. I want to ask the merchant about the craftsman who caught this gem and where they got their ore. I'm not sure we can attract them down, not an easy job, but come at a hefty price. Well, we don't necessarily have to track down the specific person. If you have a way of obtaining the information I seek in the story, I would be happy to compensate you for those services as well. You can find the person no problem. It's not as lucrative. I have a few connections or good gemstones, so I'm better off charging them for the information directly. Hmm. <laughs> Well, now you're just asking the impossible. These kinds of things tend to be trade secrets. Won't be easy to get that information, even if you're great what song I'm going to You just beat her up. Just name your price. That's the lighting her eyes up. Yeah, if you insist, no, let me see if it's a cost of travel, the gifts off to buy. I'm thinking around 200,000 Mora. Two zero. But. Because I think in the original they would have said basically 20 ten thousands. This 10,000 is its own sort of named number. In Japanese and Chinese. Yeah, because that's steep. That exceeds our budget, I'm afraid. Can you go any lower? Well, Ari Village has done me a few favors in the past, so I think we can strike a deal. Why don't you make an offer? Yeah, 
譲ってあげましょう<笑>そちらの希望価格をご提示ください5万もあるよろしくお願いします It's even more aggressive than the back of the market. Something wrong if it's usually going right for this kind of intel in the desert. Impossible, I wouldn't even be able to put food on the table. That right, can't do a no. Mori desu wa? Impossible, yeah. Oh, what a shame. How about 30,000 more of that? Even less. That's, that's even lower. <laughs> Will we threaten her, say we'll report her to the authorities otherwise? 30,000 more plus food, shelter, and security detail. Whenever we're in our village, I'll throw in a few tax exemptions as well. How does that sound? Uh, I. Our village certainly has some promising business opportunities. Securing the protection of local guardian isn't actually a bad thing. Evil little smile. I'm not the only one profiting from this deal, though. I bet she only made that offer so our village could benefit from more business activity, too. What a scary woman. Oh, uh -huh. all right. After some reflection, <coughs> decide to forego all profit for this venture. 30,000 it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I know what people call you the number of merchants in Your generosity is truly unmatched. Of course, you're in Steve Quiet, Miss Candace. The same more to gain from your friendship than anything else, so who cares about the Mora? Mora cheered on this. Okay, if that's the case, then. And by that, I mean we land on the perfect price 30,000 as agreed. No hour. 30, 30. So I'm just gonna have to shoot my gem contact with 500 more food still instead. She keeps on crying, even her thoughts. I will have to go out of my way to get this intel, so I'll need some time. Why don't you come back tomorrow? Of course, thank you, Miss Dora. You've been a huge help. Traveler, you've only just made back to Smyrna. Why don't you take some time for yourself? I'll handle the rest of the orders. Holy well, Pollen feels kind of bad that we didn't turn out to be much help. I'd say that I dragged in my own personal investigation. I should be the one apologizing. It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, but was always made the gods protect you, Traveler. And you, Miss Dora, safe travels. I'll see you tomorrow. So, yep, take care. Okay. All right, and first gift complete. Next would be, give her sweetness, wait until the following morning, eight to 10. What if I went over on the other side? Will those people have something to say? Oh, the way door is gone. Inchahan gear. Thing to say for the festival or? Probably not. Any new food? You can also cook on your own. Eat as much as you want. Okay. Eight to ten. Okay. Time for the next one. Still find it funny how high some of the just unnamed nothing mountains are compared to the others. And just the fact that Samara is on us, more of a mountainous area than we went in for Dory. Tommy me about Candace, or Dory got the intel we asked for. Let's head over and check. Someone seek to cause trouble during the festival, they cannot be allowed to ruin this surprise. Okay. More than good enough for a glide. Oh well, we're back. And? Candace is here, but we saw Dory, but she's gone now? Candace, you're here. Have you seen Dory? She just left. I got here early, and she already started doing business, so we wrapped things up right away. She left the city as soon as I handled her, handed her travel permit and tax waiver, I promise. Oh, she sure didn't waste any time. So how'd it go? Did you tell her where the gem came from? Yes, according to local gem merchants, the ore was retrieved from a nameless ruin in the desert several months ago. 
The ruin is in very very poor condition, even the running of the walls is nearly impossible to read. Tori mentioned something even more concerning, though. Apparently the craftsman made another gem just like this one. So there's two. Like Yelan's bracelet, or yes, the ore had a crack down the middle. The craftsmen believe it would be impossible to repair, so they turned it into two gems instead. So where's the other gem now? Exactly what I'd like to know. This gem probably provides the power of foresight. Consequences could be detrimental in the wrong hand. It's probably held by Nayida. Just spying to try to help us or something. Funny, funny enough, I heard a caravan was robbed just this morning in a rope part of the desert. I think it's related to the other gem. I can't say for sure, but I do know this. We small-scale caravans are ones carrying important goods travel and rope paths like that. The routes are highly confidential. So whatever what you're saying is whoever attacked the caravan was able to retake its exact location. It's certainly possible. Sounds like we need to investigate the site of the robbery, but what about the preparations for the Subzeru's festival? He has said we can meet up with everyone later. If we hurry, we should be able to get back in time. Of course, if you have other plans, please don't feel obliged to come with me. Yeah, we're in this together. There's no way we're backing up now. Let's head out. Should have known you would say that. Thank you for all your help. All right. Give her sweetness. Go to the scene of the crime. So if Candace is in here, I think... Could put in... Candace is a Hydro Applier for... Some silly Sino gameplay. Well, if and when we actually have to fight something. Decent option. And we'll give you... That Favalance. And we'll give Nahida back the sack frags that Sucro's add on. Cool. Over by Aru. Well, more by the caravan. I just want to see whether we have any decorations here. It does not look like there are actually any changes to Aru Village for the event. Oh well. Not all that surprised, really. Okay. Hmm. Hello, hello. Don't have anyone who really has movement abilities, but that's all right. Just go over here manually. Hi there. Let's avoid those fungi. I've already got more than enough. Oh, that didn't quite work. We just run. Okay. Hello there. Got you. <clears throat> I believe the robbery took place not too far from here. Sorry, not the right time. Well, we really are in the middle of nowhere. Again? Huh? Wait. What are they gonna do? Middle of nowhere? Traveler Parma, not over here. Do you sense that? Oh, elemental sight. Again, I sense a trace amount of elemental energy. Dandro, like the gem. Exactly, many among their desert tribes are capable of wielding elemental energy. The same is true for the Aramites. Some use that power to attack caravans and nurse and more. Be the Ginny weapons. Not their power themselves. Not innate power. Where are those broken planks over there? Oh, yeah, so all that's left of the transport wagon, I would imagine. It's strange that the wood looks charred. Was there an explosion? I see traces of activity over there. Let's follow the road and see what we can find. Is that someone who... That was not anyone I know. Yeah. Okay. Who knows who that was, then? keep falling. Looks like something left behind by the caravan. See a little emblem there. It's got a little leaf pattern on it. Interesting. This is something else. The tracer pointing this way. Some kind of piece of fabric. Ah, uh, I don't necessarily agree. Maybe, I guess, but it doesn't work as well as it does. It doesn't work as well as it used to. The game's a lot less popular these days. It is what it is. But I don't let people. I don't let people in my world if 
It was exploration undone because people are liable to go poke around and mess with things. And I just don't like that happening. Shouldn't be far now. Okay. Yeah. Jakob. Still, I can't believe this. We made sure to pick a remote path and we still got ambush. Excuse me, sorry for the interruption. Ah, oh, who's there? I'm Candace, the guardian of our village. I'm trying to learn more about the robbery that took place this morning. The guardian, he's here. Well, I'm done. I think we're safe, but if you're stealing, it's not in a guardian's job description. Oh, well, yeah, right. Don't mind him, so we're guys are still on the edge after the robbery this morning. And sympathize, of course, there's no need to be nervous. Although, is this where you plan to set up camp? Caravan Rebot isn't far, you know. So, the robbery took everything from us. We can't just let that slide, so I'm taking my men to confront him and get back some of what they stole, at least. We caution against that, especially when it looks like you're rolling rations as it is. In the desert, impulsivity and overconfidence can be fatal. What was it that you were transporting? Hazardous materials. Excuse me. For the love of it, you can't just say that. Listen, it was just some firecrackers and fireworks, that's all. Well, that's what the crates have written on them. They're fireworks, but also they label that as perishable goods. So, just ignore him, please, as you can see. Some of my guys aren't particularly polite. The guards that care if on rebound here with this will get questioned all over again. So, the charge marks on the points are from the fireworks. And where are we sending those goods? Some travel camps in the desert, everyone's looking to celebrate with this exhilarating festival coming up. Even small businesses like us got to share the orders, most of the long distance transports that no one else wanted. I see, could you describe the robbery to us? Well, it was like this, we just set out on the road pathway. Well, the thorns and vines suddenly blocked our way. Vines? Well, no, why would there be vines in the desert or wagon nets struck in the sand? That's what happened. I'm sure it was a trap. After that, bombs started falling through the sky. Bombs? Bakudan? Just stop talking, that robber messed you up more than I thought. Don't listen to his nonsense, he's just a bit shaken up by what happened. Anyway, as we were trapped, the bandits started firing rockets at us, which made a lot of the fireworks go off. In the middle of all the chaos, they ran off with the rest of our stuff. Did you see what they looked like? I know we couldn't really see anything, they were standing everywhere, and we were more preoccupied with getting out alive. Though I did notice that one of the bandits had this Scorpion stone, yep. Exactly, did it look anything like this? It's exactly like that. I just couldn't make sense of it. If you already have something that valuable, why go after a cheap firecrackers? Oh, hi! How are you doing? Good to see you. Unless the hazardous materials were targeted for some other reason. But I think I understand the situation. Thank you for your cooperation. I still urge you to head to Caravan Rebot and report the incident for your own safety while your anger will lead you to do something foolish. I will say... I did play around a bit with Jean because she could kill the copy bearer pretty easily by full damage last patch. Since you were talking about pro wrestler Rosaria, it really does feel like a missed opportunity that we haven't really gotten any kind of wrestling type character yet. They've made melee catalysts, martial artist catalyst kinds of characters. But, and it wouldn't be all that useful on larger enemies, I suppose, but I feel like characters who actually throw other characters, throw enemies as a focus of their kit instead of just a side ability could be fun if executed well. well Alright, we'll just take another quick break before we head over. Good, let's go. Gonna look for the caravan now. There are a lot of Kirby abilities that are based around wrestling. And even though they can't just pick up bigger enemies, one thing they usually can do is pick up the stars that enemies usually produce as a way to attack them by inhaling them and spitting them out. So you can still use those abilities in boss fights. Wonder if something like that could be possible, maybe? I don't know. Alright, we should be out of earshot, so what do you think, Traveler? I'm not sure about their goods, I'm not sure about their identity. I still feel the same way, their leader was clearly hiding something. I think we can safely say those weren't simple firework shipments. Now whatever hazardous materials they were transporting fall into the hands of another group of bandits. So when a group of bad guys attacked the other, well... I still think if the game ever came out on Switch, they should add Kirby. They'd have to make a new model, so I don't think that ever happened, but the ideal situation in the ideal world would that be them adding Kirby. It's very possible, in any case, our biggest concern right now is a group that currently has the goods and what their goal may be. Sub-Zero's festival is coming up. 
I feel like a Link would be the most obvious option, probably Animo Sword Link with a spin attack. But it's... it would invite a lot of unfavorable comparisons, I think. I see what you mean, their methods are precise and effective. It's very likely they're exploiting the visions granted by the gem. Why do you think that is, then? Fewer changes? The situation could be even more precarious than we thought. No, I don't think we should hide this any longer. Let's head back to Caravan Rebot and explain the situation to the guards. Turn to Caravan Rebot. Up around this way. Not here, though. Just teleport back. That'll be simpler. Hmm. Or what else is going on? Oh well. <clears throat> Rest here for now, you two. Off with that, eh? I'll be back as soon as I've spoken to the guards. Well, my hopes the subs are special doesn't get a ruin. Things are turning out to be more complicated than we expected. Sino? Oh, and what things were those beasts? That's like something the General Mahamatra should know about. Sino, what are you doing here? You're on business investigating an unusual robbery case. It could be the same one we've been investigating. Sounds like you've been hard at work. Just doing my duty, by the way. I brought something I think might help with the investigation. Here I have some putty sour pudding. I'm okay, thanks. Oh, fun and quiz. They say the proof is in the pudding, after all. Umami tapudin. Tapudin. There was a slightly different pun in the Japanese, but it was still about pudding. Coughing, did you have to tell that joke when Paman had a mouthful of pudding? She almost choked. Very funny. Don't tell me you did all that just to make a joke. The way back to the matter at hand, tell me about this robbery case of yours. He usually doesn't make puns when he's doing any kind of investigation. He's not the same serious mood. I see, so you and Candace already did a preliminary investigation. Yep, Candace can tell you the rest when she gets back. That merchant group is really suspicious. Alright, you can do the rest to me. And if for no, do you have any other plans for the day? Oh, we'll probably head back with Candace. We're meeting up with everyone to prepare for this. Sit. Come on. Super awesome dinner we're planning tonight. Sano's room quarters aren't too far from Nahida. Is Tino tell him about the surprise? Probably not. Screen sounds like you're hiding something from me. What? No, not at all. We never do anything like that. <laughs> da da da. Do you know why Hannaberries can't tell a lie? Oh, uh, why? Because they're always going to be red straight through. Because they're red berries. Good one. Think so, then tell me your secret. No, not like that. Seriously, there's no secret. Is that so? You're not afraid of ending up like a bass in the lake? Sleeping with the fishes? What? Because they always want up eating their worms. Can't do this anymore. We're going to tell them just to make him shut up? Yeah, who knew being interrogated by the General Mahamatra was this miserable? Hmm, someone's being interrogated. Did I miss something? Candace, thank goodness you're back. Please save us. What happened can't be anything too bad if Sun is grinning from ear to ear. Well, <laughs> nice to see you, Candace. Trevor already updated me on everything, so you can leave the robbery case to me. But when I asked about their plans this afternoon, they started dodging my questions. This afternoon, army heading back to Port Lomas to work on the surprise. Candace, it's supposed to be a secret <coughs> for Nahida. So right, something has always been part of the plan. Well, why didn't you say something sooner? Thought we weren't, or... Well, once you told me about the case, I realized I might not make it this afternoon. I was going to ask you to tell the group, but you decided to end the conversation. Seriously, so we had to listen to a couple of Sano jokes for nothing. It was three jokes, actually. Well, we never told me who was involved. Surprise, okay, Kaku. Surprise plan. Oh, jeez, that was our mistake. Well, if that resolved, could you tell the group I've got a case? Well, these are the items I was supposed to get. Could you take them back with you? Sure thing, we've got this. Makasero, leave it to us. Oh, I'd hope so, I just handed it to you. Enough already. Meet up in Port Ormos. So suppose that the conclusion will be... Both the party and the investigation will be the last quest. It wasn't too long, but given that it's sort of... Halfway through the patch, I suppose that makes sense. It's... On the shorter side for a flagship event, both in terms of... Eligibility time and just gameplay. It's okay with me. Given that we did get a... Pretty long... Archon quest, even though... They didn't add any new area. Fontaine's Archon quest mostly took place in the starting area with a bit in... The Fortress of Meripede, and only the Fortress, not even the other part added in that patch. 
Not even the research institute, but still. If you were back, finally free from all those terrible jokes. Well, I really got to spend time with Sano outside of horse. I'm sure he's just happy he came back for this observer's festival. It explains why not all those jokes ready to go even while on the job. Yep, exactly. Usually he doesn't make those jokes. I will never understand if he doesn't give himself a cringe attack. Uh, uh, oh, another vision. Candace, did you have another vision? Do you see the future again? Yes, I saw two people enter the alley over there. They seem suspicious. I think they were talking about something dangerous. Dangerous? Maybe they're the bandits from earlier. Did you see what they looked like? No, unfortunately, the visions are very boring. I can only catch a few words and vague images. Let's take up on them. If the ones looking to cause trouble during this observer's festival, we catch them and we act. Oh? Taking a minute. Peaky Paimon. No nothing. Settle hyphen. Secret signal. That's Sano? Explosion goes off. Oh, it's just about the fireworks show, right? Hey, did you hear that? Sounds like they're talking about something dangerous. Let's try to get closer. It's probably gonna be one big misunderstanding. Maybe all Hytham robbed the carriage. One passes by on the flower carriage, we'll launch it. Factor in the object's trajectory. Completely foolproof. Not actually an evil plot at all, I bet. Sub your planning at once. And yep, it's all Hytham and Kane. Oh, that's something wrong. Yeah, there we go. Wait, it's you too? What kind of terrible plan were you talking about just now? Firework show. Something about explosions in the flower carriage. You can actually make reveal a lot about the mind. If that being went to a dark place, it simply shows the way you think. So, Pamela, what do you think we were doing? We were just discussing the birthday surprise. Not long ago. <clears throat> like I said, that's not it. We have more than just a heartless transactional relationship. We're overthinking the whole thing. Is your theory in the first place that Merok disappeared after working through all this time without anything in return? I think I'm a lot too dramatic. Merok hasn't come back since I set it up for coffee. I didn't know I could get coffee. Perhaps it's the other ones in the academia that got coffee for their seniors taught Merok something about his own situation. Seeing you treat Merok like my inferior, I would never. I swear Merok has a sort of awful experience and decided to run away. Maybe something triggered an existential crisis and Merrick became so angry. That's a mechanical existence it decided to never come back. It's really an imaginative conclusion. It's impossible to create a Merrick myself and I perform regular maintenance every week. There's no way Merrick would be that heartless. Here you are in Port Omas, tell me all this when I'm supposed to be working. It's good I ran into you actually. I was hoping you'd take a look at my proposal. For the firework show? Well, I thought you were confident in your abilities. It's not like that, I just want to confirm the route for the flower carriage. Unfortunately, I know nothing about the route for the flower carriage. What, you're not involved in the festival at all? The academic can convince you to help out. Organizing festivals is not part of my job description. You really think the academia could convince me otherwise? Got a point? Well, could you at least take a look at the final explosion? Bakugatsu explosion? Yep, the candy tower design is going to hit the flower carriage at a designated time and explode into pieces. Shooting candy in all directions. Not a dangerous kind of explosion, though, it's supposed to look like fireworks. It's sold a bunch of food engineering papers, so it's completely safe. Candy is soft and the packaging is as smooth as silk flower fabric. So receive the secret signal, Merak will activate the mechanism for a flower, that way I can make sure the explosion goes off at the right time and place. And what is that supposed to be? The dendro orcum pets the bottom of the flower carriage, once we receive the signal, we'll launch it and kaboom. Can figure, forget the factor, the object's trajectory, and the humidity level. When you done, the mechanism inside the candy tower controls for those factors. The plan is completely foolproof. Okay. Evening now. Long explanation. Okay, so that's what all this was about. Had your mod set a very different interpretation. Oh, well, about that. It's all right, let me explain. The ability to see the future, that's incredible. Fascinating. Formally, a hypothesis based on the interpretation of the gym's ability is that the results will corroborate it. Or, perhaps this calls for a different postulation. 
Maybe you could dump that down a little. Assume you were seeing the future, but if you were actually seeing the past. The past. Jahangir said this was the second time as when Jahangir broke down. Chemical fears and the nature of predictable consequences. So like a surprise that something similar happened in the past. As for the falling crates during a busy time of the Observer's Festival, people often stack their crates, but signs of street likely similar accidents. Seeing people have a private conversation, secluded place, even more common. So you're saying we just happened to witness events that have occurred before. These were mundane events to appear special. So either you can predict the future, make it deviate off course, or you happen to witness the past. And the second option seems a bit easier to swallow. It's not why I brought it up, I'm simply trying to offer a change in perspective. What does explain what we saw? Conditions and action required to trigger this power are so unclear. If you want to investigate further, you should pay attention to those two factors. Speaking of a change in perspective, maybe you were the one who had scared Merak off. Yeah, maybe. An ingenious thought of Merak and I had ever never met before. Merak should be used to you, especially after I programmed it to recognize your voice. Something else must have happened. Kabe, if Merak is missing, what's that thing coming towards us right now? Oh, there we go. Will it talk? Merak, where have you been? Beep beep. Went to look for more coffee beans because the shop is out of stock. If they're out, they're out. You don't have to go that far. Mirak sure is persistent. Kind of something on your mind. Just thinking about Mr. Rohyphen's theory makes sense until we factor in the robbery in the desert. Da da da. <clears throat> Once I was robbed before. Oh, you're all here, something wrong, you look troubled. Just try to work through some mysteries, alright? It's almost time for a meeting, we'll catch you up on the way. You need to the house of Dana, see you later. Yeah, bye bye. Uh -huh. Huh? Go to the gathering spot, which is right over there. Okay. Like the streamers on the on the bushes. Okay. Oh, flower zone. Nice of you to finally show up, all young and capable, yet not one of you could get here before a senior such as myself. Toshiyori. Old person. Apologies. Fathers on Senpai, we all got caught up in a discussion. Discussion more important than the candy tower, finding suitable material for the candy. It was supposed to be the priority, or it might not make it in time for the parade. How did he figure something out? Yes, took me several dozen papers, but I got in the end. Well, we see young people work fast, our head knows no time to slack off, and your focus, we still might not make it in time. You're right, we should leave the other case to sign up. There's not much we can do from here anyway. Oh, let's get to it. Don't make me order you around like little kids. Kabi, you want to make this similar to the parade, right? I finished it. Already? That's amazing. No more difficult than Robotot's standard curriculum a hundred years ago. Here, let me know how it works. Thank you so much. Farmer's on. Trevor, mind helping me test this out? I need to observe the carriage to make a distance to the candy tower. Oh, just like the other toy. Sure, just leave it to me. <clears throat> And, oh, we have a version of the minigame. That's fun. Flower carriage is motion. Change its route to avoid obstacles. The flower carriage will lose HP when it hits any obstacles. And if HP is fully depleted, you will fail the challenge. You should only collect as many flowers as possible. Fulfill the score requirements. Okay. Oh, this one is... Very leisurely. Okay. It's a test mission, I guess. Can't even exit out. As long as we don't die, I don't think you can fail this. It's interesting that a unique instance of the minigame got incorporated for the quest line. Move on a slight diagonal trajectory like that. Oh, but it is accelerating. Slightly? Maybe. No, I don't think so. Obstacles are just getting a bit thicker. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> well, may as well get all the flowers. Thank you. Almost done here. Ten more seconds of this. Okay. And there we are. Cool, that was simple. 57 flowers, 432 distance traveled, whatever that unit is. 
Oh, not bad. Looks like a successful simulation. And so you two already have a pretty good idea of how the tower should look. Hmm. All right, now it's time for the production phase. Go ahead and sketch out the design. We'll do with a candy part. Or coin, dia. They've been at Miss Junior's house the past couple days working on the candy decorations. I'm sure they have it under control. Wait, now that you mentioned why aren't we meeting in the city, wouldn't that be more convenient than the heat of my sea? Because we'd be right under the Dendrochrid's nose. It would be too easy to run into her, but she's right here. Being further away from Samira City means our chance of getting caught are lower. Asking the ones for Archon to discover the surprise. Oh, what's going on here? I thought it was for my name. Oh. No, she's not. For a second, she was unhappy. Oop. Whoa. Huh? It's a lot longer than a huh? Kabe! Horizon Senpai? Most. Didn't even say any words there. Call this a design that possesses that kind of mature for the root. Oh, why? Play along. This design over century Sumer architectural tradition, the Dendro would be devastated if she saw it. Oh, uh, yes, you're right, I mean, just look at the facade, completely unacceptable. Ah! Uh. I'm sure you can come up with a new design in a few days, right? Of course I'll get something new first thing tomorrow. Oh, well, so it's a conversation about architecture, but I think innovation can be a good thing. Don't mind us, our Archon Cup is an intelligent young man. Just goes overboard sometimes. Oh, that's his imagination run wild. Don't worry, it's a simple fix. I see. Nothing to worry about, he'll revise the design right away. Wait, if you say so. So I'll be happy to take a look at the plans, so I might be able to give some pointers. Nope. Oh, this is not a good time. Oh, well about that. They all look extremely uncomfortable. Are they afraid to show me their work? or to talk about the problem. Doesn't know what's going on, okay. Mm, not gonna mind read. The plans are almost forgot my friend has them. That guy's always caused trouble. Oh, I'll fetch him in a bit. I'll hide them. Mm, they're definitely up to something. Nilu. Nilu. What about Armlu? Huh? Save us now. Uh, go ahead, act stupid, distract. Ah. Arkan? I mean, Kusanali Devi Sama. I knew it, did he need something? He has something looking for you all over. Since you buy your theater, had some questions about the program, the Sub Zero's Festival. Yeah. Oh, then I'll head over right away. Thank you for coming on this way, Nilo. Well, thank you for taking time out of a busy schedule to play us a visit. So trouble, I've had a lot of free time lady. I think we're getting a lot of poor drama, so I decided to come take a look. I guess we should head back, Nilo. We'll see you some other time. <clears throat> okay. Nilo Wink. There you go. Phew. Ah, that was too close. Sorry for yelling just now, Kave. Don't worry, I have nothing but absolute confidence in your design. You don't make a habit of speaking like that to a capable junior. It's alright, I understand. Akave, by the way. <coughs> oh. Ah, to Akave, we need those plans. I really need to watch you do the reasons for this to get done. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, I just want to say, you can always come to me if you ever need help or guidance with anything. Don't worry, Archon, this is all under control. Hmm. Final phase of the event, or what? <coughs> Take care, Archon. Ah, oh, Pumpkin's heart can't take much more of this. It's my remaining spot at part of CI, just in case. Port Ormus was a good case choice in terms of location. Forgot to factor it in the festivities. Should we go now? I think that's the best choice. Kelly can focus the design of Candy Tower. Those will support transport and materials. We're confident I'll support you no matter what design you come up with. Thanks. Hi. Rosan said she isn't normally yell at her juniors, but I feel like I just got a glimpse of a true senior researcher. Even though there's nothing senior about her appearance. Well, right, it's a sad. Let's meet tomorrow for parties, DI. And next one is up. Oh, Kabe's still here. And if Rosan. Give her memories. Wait until the following morning. She thinks back on all her birthdays. Will this be the most unforgettable? We're just acting, but now I can't stop thinking about all the changes I can make to the zone, so maybe I need a break from commissions. Should I structure the candy tower? Say stuff here. We're kind of getting settled, like a senior by that. I should treat him a nice meal next time. 
What a talented junior. Lipa Nakorhaja? Just see. Some of the other ones might weave after. Let me see. Check those quests, see if I miss any dialogue from last time. Mm -hmm. First act. First quest. Arachita. See if I can find them around there. You're a Hangar. So some of them. Some Aranara in town, too. Carriage parade. Oh. Flower carriage calmly awaiting the arrival of the Archon and itself. Symbol of the splendid atmosphere of the Observer's Festival. Sitting in carriages swing, walking back and forth. It is almost as if one can hear laughter of the people passing by. It's while the fragrance of the flowers filling the sky. I wonder if Lewa, Wanderer, and <coughs> the others are still around then. You're a Hangar. Should be an Aranara in town. Puspa Cafe. Not there. Guess they're gone then. Let me see. Does seem like that Aranara disappeared. How sad. As it was. Maybe it's a daytime thing. Maybe. Let's check. Well, that would make it already next phase. It says. Festival, festival. Hi there, ah. Uh, Arasati and your Rima's patrolling. The Dentro Profound is Argon's birthday. Hi there, ah. Uh, it's a golden Nara. Sunday jumps in the ground, disappears. Leila says, so she wants to summarize the effects of stars to interact with each other. That's going to be tricky. Oh, and it's nighttime, Leila. Ah, interesting. She's not here right now. Okay. Happy Caesar's Festival, other Leila, blessing from the stars. I noticed you can see Delight Leila is currently serious rest to enjoy the festivities of the deadline coinciding with the festival. Research topic concerning complex astrology. It's no surprise she's been sleepwalking again. It's one thing I can do to help. Sorry, I'm not sure we can trust this complex, precise calculation to someone else. Those are more often at the time. I think that would make her very happy. Mind reading is Layla Layla. What are we going to do with you? You and Nausea. You want to go grab dessert after rehearsal? Puspa Cafe just reviews the only time special. This is favorite festival, and better not. It's not a day, so I should restrain myself. Shem, I heard they're doing a buy one, get one free promotion for Potty Star Pudding. Really, are there Tachi is buy one, get one half off? Well, there's something special with the syrup or the baklava, too. No more, please. How about I just come with you? Mind Renewo. So I submit your desserts to try during the festival. No, no, I have to stay strong. Mind Renewo. Naja. Renewo has been working so hard recently. This would be a nice way to treat her. Wanderer. Oh, now this is a first sense of the academia. Goes to the academia in the middle of the festival. You're here, aren't you? This is the only place where I can escape all the commotion. You're not going to join in on the phone. Do I strike you as someone who wants to hold hands and dance with everyone? Go off your phone. Don't tell it when you saw me here. Festivals don't come by often, so you might as well let me enjoy it in my own way. That's so loud. And Layla is changes when the quest begins. Still outside Puspa. Where we should be, right? Maybe. Let's make it nighttime, nighttime. Wait, we're gonna go over here now or already gone? Let's see. Yes, it seems that Layla's just not here anymore. Huh, weird. And, oh, I think it might be a matter of progress through the quest. Well, as the days pass. Wait, did I miss a variable? Don't tell me I have to start from scratch. Is everything okay, Layla? Oh, yep, I'm fine. It just kind of feels like I'm seeing stars. Gotta get together to finish this paper before the festival so I can watch the parade. The Dendro Archon wouldn't want you to push yourself. Can already tell how hard you work. Yeah, you're right. Even the tiniest stars possess their own light. Keep shining, and eventually there'll be people who see it. I just need to pick myself up and use another method to run the numbers. Time to start all over again. Edward Sino, dog changes upon completing fall of Candace, and they're by one of those branches up top. Let me see if they're still there. Probably not. I wonder there or no, they are here. Okay. That was a good one. 
Oh, you must be hat guy. Kasachi? Heard Sethos talk about you recently, and you must be the general Mahamantra. Don't tell me you're also in the habit of meeting people who go to festivals. I just had to check something I could even thought I could stop by. But I'm rather curious about you. Da da da. Did you buy Jesus invocation TCG? No. Da 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 da. That's good. Huh? Do you know what would happen if you did play? I don't play. You can beat me three times in a row with your own hat trick. Da da da. Oops. And you? Did he seriously think that was funny? Can I just import Ormos? A bunch of them are by Fort Fort Ormos. Farzan, your Fariba. Front of Roya. And Pardis. They're all in Port Ormos. There's some of the houses. Okay. Others are in Port Ormos. Near the house. Direction. Well, Hyphen's house. But it's. We gotta find the house we stayed in before. Okay. There's some RNR around in town. Which is fun. See? Yes, we stayed in that one time. Off to the side. Wait. Not there. The R and R not here then, or wait. Huh. Just check the location. Near the house is where we're staying in Aravadana Arakaya. Near the house. We stayed in in that one quest. But if there's an old an R and R around, not exactly obvious. Hmm. I wouldn't imagine the wiki had it wrong, but it does seem as if they already disappeared somehow. All right. You know, pick up that potty star, I suppose. Oh, but we couldn't get the other. The vector wasn't right. Train actually blocked it. Okay. Have more people to talk to in Pormos. Okay. Go over there first then. Aravadana solves so many Nari. Hey there, Ika Aravadana doesn't know anything. Aravadana's gotta go. Arakai, secret, secret, secret. Arakai didn't say anything. Okay. Well, two more people to find. Candace and someone else. Let's see. Should be around here. I th no other side. Guess we could check up here real quick. Want to get all that dialogue? Sweet, sweet dialogue. Probably not here. Tinnery and. I mean, Farzan and Kave were over this way, so... Others probably shouldn't be all that far. Uzan. Hmm. Okay, Tina is here. You haven't been found out, right? I should find something to keep watching your party sky tomorrow. Wonder what's going on with the flower carriage right now, then. And you are right over here, hello. This gem is really something. Over the Dendro Archon didn't see through us right now. I should got the chance to ask her about the gem. Hmm. Now let's try this out. Hmm. We're towards the carriage to see where that's going to start. You're faster. Oh, up here. Sanctuary of Surasthana. Can I talk about that? Still hear the hustle bustle in the market from far up. Market from even from this side. Seems like joys is like subsidiary festival candies being cast in every direction. Hello. Oh, hard Litton comes around here. You're here to snow gaze in touchable sky. Okay. Big Star's Destiny. His dog isn't totally changed by the festival. Okay. 
Cards for this whole time. Oh, and we can have her sit on this rocking swing. Cute. Got a bit of gemstone in it. Okay. Then we'll go to Pardis DI. Finish this out. How much is left? Go to Pardis DI. Anyway. Come on, let's go check how the preparations are going. Alright, Koze. Alright, you should get Wolfang back. Okay. Mm -hmm. For memories. Time to meet up with everyone again. We need to go to Party DI. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. Maybe she overslept. I don't know, that has never happened before. Did anyone see her on the way here? Who? We're here? Huh? What's got you all looking so worried, Dia? This new isn't here yet. Okay, maybe oh maybe she's just running late. It's not like her, she's come early every other time we've met. Besides Sen would be around bizarre to meet up early before the meeting. But I was told she left first thing this morning. Now Sun is here, but he was still nowhere to be found. That's exactly why we're worried. Any progress with the robbery case? Interrogated the people in charge of the caravan on the day of the incident. They were technically the victims of the case, and all their goods were lost. There was no evidence to investigate. Their goods are certainly suspicious, but until we recover them, all we can do is to observe the caravan under the guise of protection. We contacted the original seller of the gem, apparently he sold the other half. A young man in the desert, but that's all we could tell us, maybe Sethos. So to summarize, the location of the hazardous materials in the second gem are a complete mystery, and now you is missing as well. I think Miwa's disappearance is connected to all this. It's not sure the three events are connected, but they are a product something to do with Miwa's dance of some zeros. The dance is a key part of the festival, so it's trying to sabotage the celebrations. Miwa would be a natural target. Check for Candace, there's no time to waste. Let's try to follow her trail. If Miwa can stay back and explain the situation to everyone when they arrive, of course it's still possible Miwa is simply handled by something urgent. I'll wait here. Give her memories. It was a beer theater. Let's start with the Grand Bazaar. We should ask around for clues. Where could she be? You should go. I'll wait here. Let's go in. Alright then. You're down this way. Okay. And... Back in the bazaar. How bazaar? Shik Zubair. Zubairu. Mr. Zubair. Aho, did you need something? We're looking for Niwa. Do you know where she is? Niwa showed off what brightened her way this morning. She said she had to help out a friend. She by herself. Did he happen to see which case you stole to the city? She definitely walked alone. If it, as for direction, I think she walked through the gate to the north. So the complete opposite direction of party style. Something happened. There's no time for practical jokes, you know. Mr. Zabaru, could you send word to Party Steel? He comes back to the Grand Bazaar. Of course, I'm sure she just got caught up in something, so let me know when you find her. We will. Alright, let's do through the North Gate and see what we can find. Spent you his whereabouts along the way. So I hope nothing bad happened to her. Do your way now, don't waste any more time. That is up there, but we can just move through this exit. Cool. And right over there. Cool. <clears throat> this is Navida. Have you seen Yuo this morning? Yuo, yes, it's her house. The city is just wearing the prettiest outfit. Which way did you go? That way, I believe. Hida Mahamata. Was there anyone following her? Did everything look okay? I mean, it looked like she was in a good mood. She even stopped to say hello, and no one didn't see anyone else. Right, thank you. Nevida. It seems like freebies can really cause conflicts, so what can I do for you? It's alright. 
And we're king. I've dog about the festival or it's correct. Okay, and just about the Marston. Okay. Alright. And we got more of that. Cool. Chosen. Short a bit. Skill really does have a long cooldown. No flexibility. Excuse me, have any of you seen Miss New from Zabar Theater come this way? Yes, General, I saw Miss New across the bridge after leaving the city this morning. There's men waiting for her on the other side. Mm -hmm. Maybe Sethos? Wait, could that be the person who bought the second gem? Do you see the man's face? Fortunately, no, he was too far away. Understood if she comes back this way, told her to find me a party stay. As a general, let's keep going. Susumo. Well, the clues to find you, which is not that far away. We can use the grapples that I think are probably here just for the event. Fun. Yeah, these are definitely abnormal. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. The trail ends here, and there's no one else we can ask for clues. There were intersecting sets of footprints on the ground, we could try tracking some of them. This many traces, it's easy to get mixed up, but we take a closer look. Can I smell them? Wait, that figure, it's an R and R. Excuse me for a moment, you two. Sure, we'll continue analyzing the footprints over here. Tell us right away if you find anything. Talk to the R and R. Where could this lead? Judging by the traces, they must have turned left. It's easy to mix up with as many footprints. We need to be thorough. Over there. A man in the desert. Okay. <clears throat> Arasaka, it's you. He gets a nice gold Nara. Arasaka must hide. No voice still. Huh? Why do you need to hide? We're friends, aren't we? Since Arasaka is friends with the Golden Nara, but Arapa said Arasaka can't talk to too many people right now. Oh, why? Thinks Arasaka will let everything slip by accident. Arasaka shouldn't say anymore. Oh, it's probably Aranara robbing that carriage. I think slip. Oh, we just have one question. You see a girl walk by. Nara with red hair. Nara with like a beautiful flower. That's nice. Aranara is pretty like a potty star. Yes, Arasaka saw that Nara. Wait, which way did you go? She went toward the messy pile of rocks and another Nara, but Arasaka doesn't know them. I see pile of rocks, probably the ruins near the famous Osvada. That makes sense, thank you, Arasaka. Arasaka is happy to help Kind Golden Nara. Kind Golden Nara has helped Arasaka in the past. Let's talk about the other thing you mentioned. Arasaka doesn't know anything, Arasaka won't say anything else. Well, I guess that ends this conversation. Well, it's just Seno and Canis, what we learned. Talk to Seno and Canis. Right over here. Anything new? No, no new. Mind read dialogue. Okay. The Fane of Asvata. The footprints will lead in that direction as well. Where did you get all where did you get this information? Well, we were tip off with some friends. We can vouch for the information. Alright, I trust you. Let's go after them, hopefully. Uh, another vision. Another vision. Yes, by this time I only heard faint voices. What are they saying? It sounded like two people having a conversation. There was someone asking what she find out. Something about following the tracks. The new one of the voices. I couldn't tell. The voices were too muffled. Let's head towards the ruins right now. The vision can mean we're on the right track. One of the places, the clues point to. Hope we're in that direction. Running is fine. You can hoof it. Oh, Arunara House. I assume I've been in this one before. And a couple of random Aramites. You know, now's as good a time as any. Let's take him down. And this will be okay. Thank you. I And we can hopefully get that going. And nice. Cool. Thank you. And take you down. And all right then. Take you out. And is that all of them? Yeah, we took them all down. Okay. Just a few Aramites to fight. To Ara fight along the way. Ninjas. Golden Mouse. 
Mm -hmm. Four orcs are done. Best associated with corrupt academia people trying to capture Aranara. Carrot and potato. Okay. Alright then. Took down some suspicious individuals along the way. Okay. Well, I'm almost done. Shouldn't be all that much longer. This is the last quest today and the last little thing I'll do then. Well, other than a few domain runs, but yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -mm. Go to the ruins, which are up top there. Okay. Now, the water park is right. That would require some of Aranyaka. It's the only part that does not require any lowering of the water level. Yep. And who's here? <coughs> You should be getting close. This area is usually full of treasure hoarders. Nua can be in danger. Look over there. There's Nua. Oh, in the outfit from Summer. It's Nua Hei. Oi, Nua. I don't think she can hear us. We're too far away. Come on, let's go. Catch up to Nua. Oh, there's the cauldron from Aranyaka. Alright. Keep going. Thanks. And there we are. Hello there. Well, I can't believe we walked this far already. And yep, it's Zethos. We should be getting close, right? You? Huh? You? We knew there was a bad guy with you. Leave your own, you huh? Yep. Oh, by bad guy, do you mean me? Wadu Yatsu? What are you doing here? Am I not supposed to be here? What are you guys doing here? Can we stick to one question at a time? Oh, wait, that one doesn't count. Oh, sorry, right. What dreadful cacophony? Are we not allowed a quiet place to practice? That's the first time Sorosh has had a voice. Sorosh, good to see you again. Oh, Pelfroda and my Yasna party. You know this red floating being. Excuse you, I saw I'm Noble Pari and the Bloom Guard of Karena. Used a much more standard word in Japanese. I saw she's a party, we met the Borakasha Waste, she's really nice, you just have to get used to the way she talks. Oh, Mr. Sethos, that item on your person, the other gem. Yep. Oh, you mean this cracked wedge on eye? That's the name. I... So you were the one who bought the other gem. A wet jet eye party? Sounds like something I've read about before. Then you can probably guess what really happened. Now it's not the time for riddles. Everyone in the city is so worried about you. Oh, worried about me, but I'll have a message for everyone. Message what message? You never received anything like that. You tell me Rosh, you fell asleep halfway there again. And that name is all starting to check out. Yep. Sleepy Pari. Is that Roshnu? The Pari that was supposed to pass on my message, she did look really tired earlier. Hold on, let's take this one thing at a time. First, what are you guys doing here? Good luck, Kananazo. We don't know. Well, that explanation starts with the first time I met Sorush. Oh? Cutscene, flashback. Gameplay? Oh, just the other two special part, me here, Thorny One, Sorish, they're here. If I've had enough of these insufferable rascals wreaking havoc in the desert right and left. <coughs> snore, snore, snore. Look up Roshna, we need to teach them a lesson, we'll never get another good night's sleep. Snore, snore, snore. Da da da. Trapped with my thorns when they pass by me, you can take care of the rest. Oh, so the Pari attacked. Not RNR, just random Pari. Not random, but perfect they don't stand a chance. Let's give them a taste of sheer terror. Jakob, mm. da da da. Oh, what in the thorns? Oh, so the bonds wrapped were the Neuroda fruits, probably. What's the wagon is stuck? Oh, rouge. Huh? No. Oh, and we're gonna play as her? Yep, exactly. So we can power the power of the Neuroda fruits to destroy merchant cards. Surge can throw an unlimited number of Neurona fruits during this operation. Hold my might. 
Oh my goodness. Can't leave. Fly forward and... Careful source, don't get too hard and let's see. Okay, we have to go higher up. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Bombs, there are bombs falling from the sky. Ah! Uh, Kinda can get the wagon out first. That's what happened. You perished, you scoundrels. Well, it can't damage anyone. Probably had enough, don't you think? My Yubi. Named Sethos, I was out for a walk, but I heard the commotion, so I came to check it out. So I destroyed their goods, that's so they can stop here. These kinds of situations can easily get out of hand. Whereas in youth, have the end of day who whom you speak. The Lord Lord Swoosh were down among the Pari, all children in the desert know your name. Interesting. So you're not entirely ignorant after all? Thought I'm going to call it a day. But if those scoundrels continue to disrupt the peace of this land, I will show no mercy. Mm. That was funny. <laughs> okay. The two of us really hit it off, and after that, so I became a god in Samaria City. You really can get along with anyone, huh? Sethos feels duty well. I've come here for a monumental task. A task? Her blessed Lord Crisinella is currently celebrating a birthday in the city, as her familiars, the party, have decided to bestow upon her a special gift. It's assigned by Elder Zervan, the boom guard of the party, that would be me. Present the dance of Sabzeru to Lesser Lord Crisinella, truth has been passed down over the centuries. It's a new added teacher, presumably. Her source, the dancer, has already decided, but she insists on meeting you in person. Oh, okay. The thing I did, how is that to know the current version is nothing like the original? Well, there are bound to be changes over the centuries. So it's time to see the original version, I beg the source should teach me. Such a rare opportunity, if I present this special version, this is Darius Festival. I'm sure the Dandro Arkham will love it, and all the spectators too. Appreciate young Yu's determination, so I invited her here to practice in peace. So that's what happens. It was like we've been chasing bad guys for days, but in the end there were no bad guys at all. It was all for Niki to surprise. Hold on, don't forget about the guys with the fireworks. We still haven't figured out what they were up to. We have like in the desert trying to turn a profit by illegally excavating ruins and tombs, because that's my guess. I'd explain why they chose a remote path away from our village. Luckily you didn't catch them in the axe. Huh, a few moments with me and they'd be begging for the days of baking in the hot sun. Okay, around Palma and I got on Candace's bad side. Wait, oh, Miss Candace, the notes are carrying the other half of the wedge on high. Yeah, what exactly is this thing? It's a gift from King Deshra to Lesser Wood Kusanoi. Probably belonged to Greater Wood Ruka Devada, actually, but given what happened to Irman's soul. It's right, so we read the legend too. I only have the basics. Never thought these two gems could be connected to the relic from the legend. I only bought the gem because it seemed like there was something special about it. Legend didn't come into play until I checked certain texts back at the Temple of Silence. Legend has it King Tashrit and the Goddess of Flowers of Lady Malakana both prepared surprise gifts for us who were Christianella during the first Sub-Zero's festival. Scattered Ken along the path to lead her toward the side of the banquet. Eventually she arrived at the lake where she heard the sound of music. Her all armor was plucking the strings of an instrument and Lady Malakana performed a beautiful dance. The other two extended their heartfelt wishes to their dear friend and each bestowed upon her a precious gift. The Malakana gave her the Kfar rain to protect the rainforest. What all Amar gave her the wedge on eye to recall the moments they shared together. Ah, I mentioned the Kfar rain, which is celestial power. It's presumably imaginary then. But the wedge on eye well, was lost after the cataclysm in Kami, buried deep beneath the sands. A sword was no the Kfar rain of the divine bird in Simurg. Passed with guarding the bird between new birth and death. Until the bird shattered into pieces and gave rise to the party. So Candace actually saw things recorded by the way John I. <clears throat> I was definitely surprised it still has the power to record events after all this time. Its power seems to only resonate with the people of Al-Amar, also known as the descendants of King Deshra. It's by the damage it still holds many scenes from the past. The voices I heard earlier could have actually been Lord Al-Amar and the Goddess of Flowers. But so Sathos is the Deshra proxy instead of Niwu, then maybe. What do you plan to do with two pieces of the eye? If you don't mind, I'd like to place them under the custody of the Temple of Silence. I agree with that decision. Technically, the eye belongs to Lesser Kusanoli, why don't you just give it back? Da da da. I'm not sure that would be wise. Even if she remembers the story, I feel all that remains is a fragmented piece of memory is grief. 
Record of sad memories? Is Nahida's friend? I don't want her to feel sad on her birthday. I don't fully understand her reasoning, but if it's the decision of the group as well as my Yasuna party, then I shall object no further. Are you going to let me teach the girl dance of subsidiaries? You intend to drag this on incessantly. She's got a point now that we know it was all a false alarm. Let's go back and tell them what happened. They're probably worried. Tell the other mantra, keep an eye out for that caravan and find any events that are in this car. We won't let them off lightly. So I'll stay here then. There's a bunch of monsters nearby, so it's always good to have someone stand guard. So to make you worry everyone, I'll head back and help once I'm done wearing this dance. Focus on more distractions, now follow along. It's Master Sorosh. I like that we got to use the Sorosh gameplay again. It's closely one and two and one and two and cannot mind read Pari. So this is what the original dance looked like. On the kanji, a feeling like this. What were kind of history is preserved within the eye. You all go ahead, I'll stay here. Turn to party sti. More like partying DI. Okay. <clears throat> Just like this. Right up here. And D is over there. Hello. D and Dunir's odd. Hello. You're finally back. I was so worried I was this close to sending some mercs after you. Nothing bad happened, right? Nope, it was all just a misunderstanding. Explaining. No fade to black, just wide shot. I like that better, actually. That's a relief. I'm glad it's all taken care of. How are the preparations are going? Well, Kave's diagram is done. It looks like he pulled an all-nighter to finish it, so he went home to sleep. Built the frame of the tower while you were gone. I think I'll check it over later, though. We're so worried about you all. It's kind of hard to focus. In any case, there's not much left to do. If we all work together, we'll be done in no time. Yet we don't have to worry about missing the parade. Seeking of a parade, got through for a favorite traveler. Sure, there's always something I can do, yeah, any time. The Kadir wants her representative, so he's Dorsha, and I made some of the service and added flowers to the parade. Some discussion we'll agree you would be the best person in the job. What do you think? It would be my own, by my owner. You were the hero of Samir, and a personal friend of the Danger Archon. We all thought you were the best candidate. Sure, you knocked it out of the park. Hey, don't stress him out. Wait, aren't you also in the parade of some pianist? You're playing the tonbo, right? So, providing the background music for Miss Newell's dance. Paladin's never heard you play music before. Hey, if you like it, you're welcome to Art Village anytime. I'm more than happy to allow you to sleep. You can count on it. Looking forward to it. I actually have a favorite dress as well. These are the decorations of our carriage. Should you bring them to the sanctuary of Surasana? Hang them on the carriage. A lot of other flowers, personally decorated. My pleasure. You can count on us. With Switzerland of the remaining tax, the anticipation for the festival makes for quick work. Before we know it, the sun is set and everyone breaks for the night. If you were done, now we just have to go to the sanctuary of Surasana and hang the decorations on the flower carriage. <clears throat> Wonder what the sanctuary looks like at the night before the festival. Let's go check it out. Mm -hmm. Alright. Just about done. Over there. Relatively close. Still in Raza, though. And... Decorate the flower carriage. Ah, oh, all these flower garlands. Fun. <clears throat> that should be good. All we need to do now is wait for the parade tomorrow. Okay. Wait for the parade to begin. Wait. All the preparations are done. Wait until the start of the parade tomorrow. You can have a look at the flower carriage, maybe. Anything to say, people? Quest begins. Disappears upon waiting until the next morning in the quest. Reappears after completing the quest. There are a few. Okay. Do that now. Sure, why not? See if there's more dialogue. Next time, wait till tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> Next morning. It does apparently make Wanderer disappear temporarily, and there she is. Happy birthday.
Da da da. Everyone's been avoiding me away. We're acting screwy like they're hiding something. I have to get to the bottom of this after the parade. First birthday celebration, so we'll just candy, beautiful flower carriage, and. When's it gonna pop out, right? Ah? Sorry to keep you waiting, your Archon. Hagamegami, our goddess. Aww. Time to head out, you're not a flowers. Aww. And I woke up, I was riding a flower carriage. It's just like a character teaser, right? Eyes of Nihira, it was, it was my birthday. Birthday of Nihira. And out of flowers, the lieutenant's found me. Fun outfit. Or can we find we found it? The people can't wait to meet. That's why we don't see ourselves, because... No, they didn't want to give us the outfit. Superior special again. Everyone's smelting and gathered around me. Ah, there we go. Hand us with the loot. Yo, are those potty stars? Is that Sorish's influencer? It's interesting that she's not wearing her original outfit, which is a little bit goddess of flowers cosplay. Everyone's prepared to watch the surprises for me. Got the other ones in there too. Candies. And they explored in all directions like dazzling fireworks. <laughs> Ready, three, two, one. Aww. Kind of smug. That's big. A bird suddenly appeared. In the moment, the world erupted in brilliant color. Aww. Actually, I'm surprised at my own. Come on out. Oh, R and R, a public appearance. Big illusion. Oh, getting to see. Getting to see the sibling is nasty work. Okay. Giant Aranara. Okay, so they probably didn't see the Aranara as much. Everyone just basically went. Everyone started tripping. <laughs> when I woke up, I was riding in a fire carriage. It felt just like a dream. Yeah. Never had I witnessed a more perfect thing. Hmm. Aww. <laughs> Pair of the flower carriages can go to without a hitch and you'll return to party STI. Fun. Very, very cute. Here's your successful birthday surprise. Drinking. Kanpai? Cheers, huh? I knew it. I knew you had it in you. Can't be a true or a genius architect. Oh, a drunk Farzan. Uh, Farzan Sampa? I think you might have had a little too much to drink. Yeah, the, the Satali comparisons are really a bit obvious here then. She hasn't been able to contain her excitement since so she saw the candy tower hit the flower carriage. I mean, so we're seeing a few extra drinks just now. We all deserve to loosen up once in a while. That's what festivals are for. And the candies you're playing was amazing out there. We've come never showed us before. It's just something I do in passing. The night watches calm. The stars are out. I like to play a few tunes to pass the time. The stars in the side get to hear playing more than us. No fair. So I think Misu was dancing was the real star of the event. But when did this become about me? <clears throat> and Damn boys. I see, so the Wing Chan Ai is now under the custody of the Temple of Sounds. Bar for research if you want. You need certain objects may represent a period of history. If you have to exemplify or brought to light, there's little value in further study. Well, I thought you at least want to see it. A legendary gem like that is sure to be a wonder to behold. Couldn't hurt to take a look. Not about to make the trip to Temple Sounds for that, it's too far. With your hermit tendencies, I swear. Although if someone ever brings it to the academia for appraisal and certification, I wouldn't mind taking a look. The topic, I wonder how much it's worth. Never really thought about it, it's kind of like an ancient house in a way. Not many people are going to break off a piece of the wall and send it for appraisal. 
That actually sounds like something my Darshan would do. I've heard something underclassified with quite the sense of curiosity. Well, that does happen, or I'd report and send it to my office. It's a protocol or something. I would just like to know what interesting things are brought back to the academia. I might want to check it out. Might. Why did I even bother asking? I should just keep my mouth shut. Interesting, use reports as sort of alarm clock system. No alarm, yes, that's what I heard just now. Dear friends, a critical moment has arrived. Sanopan. Really, I didn't hear anything. It's not like the notes would call on you and not me. Well, actually, yes. It is time to come together and play genius in the. Yeah. Is that cool? I called me? Sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> So, genius invocation this and genius invocation that. When's Koi gonna give me an excuse to leave? <clears throat> Junior Zod? Everyone seems to be having a lot of fun. What about you? Are you having fun? Yeah, I just know this will be the most unforgettable birthday I'll ever have. Wait, Archon, you have a long life ahead of you. Isn't it too early to draw such a conclusion? Not at all. Sometimes a single moment is all it takes to know you'll remember something for the rest of your life. Name is Storage Wright. Would you and your friends ever consider coming to live in Snurry City? And thank you for your kindness, great Archon. We part you have our own duties and we find the city a bit too noisy. Is that so? If you spend more time among people, you might start to enjoy the commotion now. Well, that's also true. I have fond memories of my adventures with Pale Floater and my Yasna Potty. Oh, really? Pumpkin's happy to hear that. Well, like this year's Subserious Festival, it surprises for everyone. You called out the R&R, &R, Pumpkin nearly fell out of the sky in shock. Yeah, I'm glad he liked it. I told him to stay hidden so no one knew it was coming. I wonder Arasaka was so flustered he was trying to keep it a secret. Pumpkin's sure everyone's mirror all the surprise. It felt like a dream. Dream, huh? Mm -mm. Nahida? Oh, it's nothing. I was just wondering if this whole thing might be a dream. Da da da. Then we should do our best to remember it. Huh? This captures this moment forever. Oh, picture! So that even if we wake up, this moment will never be lost. This moment will all armor one of them to give Ruka Devada the Wejot Eye. Even though we don't have anything that powerful, we still have our own way to stop time. How can we do this? It's just like the hit, just like Francis Ford Coppola's film, Megalopolis. Hee <laughs> hee. Hi, hi. Oh. Well, everyone close to the other piece, people on the left make some room. Farazan, someone is stepping on my shoe. Sorry, Madam Farazan, there's not a lot of space. Go forward to the spot reserved for the mighty party. Grim Pumpkin's the only one allowed to float next to him. Hmm. So that's what you meant? A picture? Huh? I never thought about it that way before. Now on every time I look at this photo, I remember the joy of this moment. I don't have experience with that kind of stuff, but I trust you. We with all my heart, that time will stop for us in this moment. Then the picture Kave. Just need to set the timer and we're good. Everyone ready in three, two, one? Eat. Happy birthday! It's people and water being antisocial. Junior's on there. People did remark on how Niwa totally swapped out her old outfit for this one, which is amusing. It's cute. Cute group picture. Here we go. Give her memories. This moment lasts forever. Photo taken with the Sumeru crew, Meru. Following the birthday surprise feast at the Subdera Special, most memorable gift indeed. May the beauty of this moment remain in your heart forever. That's cute. As some people have some dialogue post quest. Near the fountain. Yeah. Puspa Cafe. They're right over there. Hello. You there, Weave Hat? I have a question. Or Saka Weave Hat. Oh, and they're talking, they make the R and R singing noises. The party find it challenging enough to protect the Vorakasha Oasis, have managed to protect the vein as the last as the rainforest for hundreds of years. We're not a Nara, you are a bird, red and warm and small, or so I can make you something to eat. A bird? No, I'm a pony. We live in the Vorakasha Oasis. Well, they're part bird, basically. Vorakasha Oasis like Von Rana, but for a bird. Von Arana, something tells me this conversation is going nowhere. The red bird is a good bird. Good birds come to Von Arana. Osaka will make you delicious food. Practice 
Arar, Kalari, R and R magic together and find Watson. Lots of tracer treasure. Oh well, okay. So I've been stuck here waste for too long. It's like I can't understand the language of the outside world anymore. Every set sounded impressive though. So we uh, should be around here. I think. Or she might have disappeared with quest progress. That did seem to happen a few times before. Let's just check. No, not here. Around here. This should be the cafe. The cave. Oh, come on. And, oh, here you are. Whoa. It's beautiful. Everyone looks so happy. The experience is different from gazing at the stars. God, but still, what a spite is behold. Weiwa, it's other Weiwa. It's me, Weiwa, just managed to submit her paper, so she's resting now. It's a pity she misses your parade, but her work ethic is truly commendable. I'll take a picture to capture this moment and put it on her desk. Alright. Hmm. Let me think. <clears throat> Remained her. Candace is by Aru at night. Okay. By the chief's house. Is it nighttime yet? It's almost nighttime. Okay. Should make her show up. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Hida and in front of the village chief's house during nighttime. In front of the house. Is here or. Wait. Is she here or not? So she's around this area, but it's only so much. Okay. This is something. Hmm. Alright. Where can I find her? Oh, whatever. After <sighs> this, I just gotta run Talent Domain a few times. That'll be more than good. Okay. But I do know that Nahida's by the Sanctuary. Sometimes it does take a little bit for them to actually appear, so... I'd have to... No, she is right here. Hello. By her... I can still hear everyone's laughter even now. She's still by her tambour. Okay. I hope the sand did get in your sleep traveler. Here, have a seat. Are you busy? No, I was just practicing an ancient melody. It's beautiful, but I don't know how it ends. That knowledge has been lost to the sands. I used to play it over and over again, never able to fully complete it. But tonight, I want to try to give it a suitable ending. Not that it's just the festival spirit, but I can't help but feel like certain stories deserve a happy ending. Certain so memories remain just as precious, even as they fade with time. <clears throat> yeah. Sand again in your sweet shower. You have a seat back so soon. Sounds like I'm not a flowers. Hasn't had enough of the festivities. But our village is where I truly belong. <clears throat> I had a wonderful time with everyone, but I don't mind returning to my daily life. It's no time to be sad. See, look at the sky. Another beautiful day is just around the corner. And I got something else to do right now. In any case, even with the festivities end, that joy stays with us. It is by the sanctuary, but wander and Sino, I believe, are by the academia at night. I think we'll see. Okay, but it does take some refreshing to make them show up, and also that's not night anymore. Let's see Candace pop in and out and in and out. Yeah, check by the academia. And by Nahida, well, this is also by the Academia. But also by Nahida. Inside the Sanctuary of Surislana. Oh, 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 and the carriage is gone. And of course, you can't mind read Nahida with Nahida. Doesn't even get marked. You're back here, what's there, this candied Ajalainak nut? Were you waiting for me? Hey, now who's the mind reader? Did he have a happy birthday? Of course it was amazing. It's like I was standard by everyone's kind as a little like a little bird tucked away in a nest. 
I really can't thank everyone enough, the Oranara, the Fire, my dear friends. You said you're still hiding something from me, aren't you? Am I? Don't worry. I think it should be kept a secret, then I trust your judgment. After all, you're my knight of flowers. Aww. And... Are you waiting for me? Mind reader, do you have a good time at the banquet? Of course, every dish was such a pleasant surprise. I know what to expect. I'm trying to guess if we review all the cans before opening the box. It doesn't really focus on the food, though, and look at everyone's happy faces. I was already more than satisfied. Well, it's not the food that makes a banquet, it's the company. And that leads into our birthday weather, I believe. I should go? Okay, who knows? Maybe next time you see me, it'll be one of your dreams, huh? Okay. Let's check that mail real quick. And candied Ajale knock nuts. Carriage parade, but this is actually sort of in between those days, I think. This is candied Ajale knock nut. Technically. Because it's the base recipe, but in terms of what it actually is, it's actually Halva, which is. Well, if you're Ajale candied Ajale knock nuts are sort of a. Weird sort of pseudo coconut, but also a bit of. They do have almonds in this game too, and a real hob is made with almonds, not coconut. Oh, there he is! Trying to track him down, I suppose, Mr. Antisocial. What a nuisance! And you do know you're invited back to give me a party, right? You're really not going to show your face. I don't remember doing anything worth getting invited. This is in the noisy room of people, not my scene. Look, I'm no scholar, but even I've heard about your work in historical criticism and modern political research. Wadaku is inspiration for their big paper that basically makes you their hero. Contribution is half the reason they even have something to celebrate. Thanks someone for the Temple of Silence when no one has stopped talking. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. I'm just letting you know they're going to drag you that one way or another. Tell them where I was. Believe it or not, I do know when to keep my mouth shut, but this I know you pretty well. Did ask me to come find you. Da -da -da, for the love of fun, show me the way. Okay. So I suppose I'll just run. Tell domain a few more times and yep, it's blazing we need. I mean kindling we need. Let's do that a few times and yeah. That'll be all for today. Went a bit longer than expected. Not complaining. Alright. And. Philosophies of kindling. And here's our team. Okay. <clears throat> so, points. Alright. One, two, good enough. Two, three. Right. Nice, not bad. Right, and. One, two, right, and two. I oh, I missed that just barely. Whatever. Oh come on! All right, all right. One, two, shoot, and ooh, that didn't do it. And that worked. So a few runs of this, and we'll be good. Need more books for Oravon and Chaska. Continue this. Mm -hmm. One, two, and Milani. Oh, that's actually a good bonus. And good damage. Thank you. Right, and... Let's see, and... Oh, we almost got that. Barely mistimed, okay. And... Shoot. Shoot, crit, and shoot. There we go. Oh! That almost didn't ruin it. Hmm. Very, very close. Now, one more, and then we'll have to craft, and then three more. That's fine. More than reasonable. Okay. Okay. And there we go with it. And three more after that, and we'll be chilling. Also, this is a time to heal up, too, so... Thanks, fight, three, fight, and stay on here. And that helped a lot. Okay, I... 
getting to get the hits consistently means we can actually get a fourth one off, which is interesting. It's not something you can reasonably expect most of the time. Okay. Almost done here. A few more quick runs of Talent Domain and we'll be chilling. That was a fun event. I'm glad that Sethos got to show up, given that he is new and showed up a year plus after Samara stopped really being relevant. Yeah, yeah. that's why they gotta make those old region events. So that characters from older regions have a chance to show up and actually be relevant. <clears throat> Alright. Topic of Volcano. Sources do generally say that Volcano will get added in 5.3. So I'm honestly not sure how much I believe that myself. Oh, that's right. I need to actually collect event rewards. Right. Okay. Oh, mining. Let's... We can do it all the way from here. A fervor. Celebration anecdotes. Sir is holding the Subzera's Festival. Behind you in the news, you're up to see familiar faces. Here we are to read these. Let's collect all the events from here. And we did get max score on the endless mode, which was not endless, just six minutes mode, but you know how it is. Okay. Double click gets it faster sometimes. Sometimes. Good amount of artifact juices. Here we go. A lot. Indian Harmony, we got these already. The Drinker. The Coward. The Rider. The... Researcher. And the OCD guy. But it's not every kind of crystal. Got... No Hydro and no Animo. Interesting. Take all this. Good amount of Samara upgrade materials, which is nice too. Will tough as rock. They still never told us who Will was. Points could be good for maybe leveling up the Bait Club. I do need to do that eventually, because there aren't a lot of crit claymores. And now we got how many? Best of Fervor, this is maximum, I presume. You get a Candice Con. Well, five. Star Glitter, because we already had her at max. 200, 400, 600, 800, and a Star to keep you waiting to your Archon. Lovely, exquisitely crafted model flower carriage. It is a two scale rep reproduction of the flower carriage from a certain iteration of the Subservice Festival. It has it that this carriage is the crystallization of many people's wisdom and effort. It's decorated by none other than knotted flowers. In other words, you. Go forth then, your god awaits your knight. And our crown of insight. And we did all of this. Collected every little bit. Cool, everything's done. It's interesting that it ends on an odd number. Okay, how long is it going to wait for all the rewards to actually process, though? That's my question. I'd say 30 seconds or so is a good bet. At maximum. But this does mean we have a good amount saved up for Chaska. And a lot of exploration to do next patch, because I need to catch up on... 5.1 exploration before I even get to 5.2. I might have to sort of just blast through that. Luckily, all the quests are done, so it's just go through an open chest, but still. Oh, there was Hydra somewhere. Don't know where that was. And it took about... About 45 seconds, yeah. Okay. Best of Fervor. Cool. 44... And, yeah, lots of artifact juices. Did I? I did condense my resin. Things left to do or mine a few rocks. Heal up real quick. A few more runs uh, of teachings of kindling. And we'll be good. Oh. Really working on that preform for Chaska and Ororon. It is kind of sad that it's going to be a while until I actually bother getting Kachina to set to 90 and 
getting her an artifact set and leveling her skills, but it is just a matter of anything she can do, she went and does much better. Sadly. Well, no off-field knights will damage, though, but that's not really the selling point anyway, and that only matters for a few enemies. Few no, I even forgot to actually get the shred going on. That's right. I okay, cool. And two. Fight and can we I uh oh, barely missed it. Blast and good damage. Kinda 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 at a Oh my goodness, you are damaging me something horrible. Okay, and another shoot and that could have killed us if we hadn't jumped over it. That was fun. Okay. There we are. Kinich not getting the benefit from the defense is a little annoying. Makes me kind of wish I had C2D so that her E would last a little bit longer. We go for a shred. Thank you. And actually get some healing up, which, not bad. And fight. Fight. Bite. Very, very good. Fight. And one more bite should be manageable. Uh, there we are, kind of. And one more. One more. And shoot. There we go. One more quick run. We can even afford to let Kini to die, maybe. Although that would be a little less than ideal. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's not like we can't just bring him back from, from the dead. And it is funny, because he has explicitly said in the quest that he has literally experienced coming back from the dead multiple times anyway. Let's get a little more. Time from Dia by way of... Doing it quick like this, and oh, you were totally underground. That was bad, and I... Okay, well, it's time for Kinich then. Cool, and shoot. Let's go get our... Shot off, and well, we oh, well, now you're dead, dead. Oops, okay. Can get my shred in, and hit, hit. Oh, well, not a crit. Bad news, well, that... Big difference between that crit and a non-crit. If all there is to do, see how many teachings we have now by just upcrafting them, break a few rocks, and that'll be all. This place to break rocks is usually... I always end up going back to Mondstadt. It's to break rocks. It's a really convenient pile of rocks to break right by Wolvendom. I actually did go back a few weeks ago to test out how Andreas was on higher world levels. Since they had a rule level 9 and therefore he's the only weekly boss. Because he's the only in-world weekly boss who can actually be fought at that level 103. And it wasn't really a problem at all because... Rule level or no, he's way below the caliber of new enemies in every way that matters. But it was interesting. It was fun to fight him with Keenich, because just the big hits on such an early enemy. Tried it on Storm Terror, too. Okay, we'll upcraft that. Honestly, do a little bit of cooking to get up to... Maxing Battle Pass experience, because without bounties and requests each week, it's a little tougher to actually get to maximum experience for the week. Okay. Make some not one food. I don't know, a cup of grain food or something. Cooking is right here, nice. Wait, wait. Thanks to you, wish you the best of luck. Can cook here, right here. And the only one is the cup of grain food. Snack made from breadfruit. Oh, it uses embercore flowers for spice. Snack made from breadfruit. The kernels are broken off and seen together with embercore flower nectar each and every one, and then ends up being juicy, fragrant, and irresistibly sweet. And nobody's bonus. Nobody's specialty. Okay. Snack made from green fruit. The fresh plump kernels explode on the tip of your tongue like a lively party that leaves this lingering sweet aftertaste. Yeah, because this is basically just street corn. Takes, still just takes one thing of corn. It is interesting that it seems like there isn't some kind of fried, some kind of grilled fish. I do have an equivalent of ceviche, but no grilled fish dish to my knowledge. Okay. Force of color. That is new, more or less, I think. Now it's actually, we can sort now by... Incomplete proficiency. Force of color, a salad made from 
fresh fruit and vegetables, blanch the grain fruit, chop the other ingredients, drizzle over the sauce, stir until evenly mixed. Extremely simple to make, but even more importantly, it's so healthy that no matter how much you eat, you won't feel stressed. It's nobody's bonus right now. Lots of corn. Corn, mint, tomato, and onion. Hmm. Interesting. Salad made from fresh fruit and vegetables, sweet sour, and many others constitute a forest of flavor. Free to water through, leaving you with a lasting touch of freshness from your taste buds to your heart. Your heart. But the only fruit here is... Well, I would say tomato, but corn is technically a fruit, right? I think. Because you're eating the seeds. It... I don't know. Well, it's a grain. It's a grain. I know that nuts are scientifically a fruit, which is interesting. I'm not so sure about grains. Well, corn is literally called grain fruit here. But I'm not sure how much of a clue that is to the real world. Grain fruit meat soup. Soup that consists of a mixture of meat and vegetables. When ordering grain fruit, meat soup, and not one, customers can choose from a variety of different broths as well as a wide range of side dishes. The only fixed rule is this, it must contain lots of grain fruit. This is basically hominy, I think. Okay, no one's a specialty yet. Lots of things using corn, which is good because we have a lot of corn. A soup that consists of a mixture of meat and vegetables. Any single spoonful includes soft meat, crunchy veggies, and a tilting spiciness. It's a cornucopia of shifting flavors or creams that you entertain seconds. Onion, cabbage, and fowl, in addition to the corn. It does not say anything about spice, but it's nothing that re no recipe requires five items. And of course, double the corn compared to any other in ingredient. So, it's there, and even that does not take four, five. They introduced another five-star recipe. I feel like it would take five ingredients, maybe. I think that's preeminently reasonable. 52. Let's craft these up and see how many we have. We need 66 of the big ones for... Oh, to max someone out, we, need four, we can craft 14 now without getting in a range where we can danger range for silver. 54 and 52, so yeah, all of them are pretty close. So that will be all I will do tonight. Oh, that's not even maximum. Well, I don't care that much more than I'm still going to get maximum battle pass this coming week. So thank you everyone for bearing with me, for popping in and popping out. Have a great day, night, whatever, and sound dragon.